Straight up, a vehicle designed to take you from mid-morning to midday with a minimum of discomfort and unlimited safety and timeliness. We brake at designated stops and observe pedestrian crossings. There's no charge for the ride, but garbage will be returned as small change. Body protrusion, indecent exposure and political campaigning are punishable under the regulations. Advertising is welcome, but vending is prohibited. We apologize for any bumpy road surface, but we'll avoid pitfalls and crawl across potholes. Fasten your seat belt, please. Straight up, there is small time. Driver! Oh, stop at all! Drop this Arizona Rona album all! Driver! Oh, demon itch! Collect a little food there, y'all! Come back quick! Driver! Just remember the damn speed limit, cause if you're running the fence, my friend, that is it! Good morning, welcome to Straight Up for today and for this week because this is the last day for this week on the program. Today is the 13th of um, March, Friday 13th of March. And I am your host, Jerry Small. We're going here from after the 9 o'clock news in the morning till midday. I think that's enough time. I don't want. We don't want to over amount of time. Better we have less time than we have too much time. Um, I got a, got a glimpse of the video there of the police killing in Lawrence Tavern last week, Friday. And um, I don't know if it was... I don't know if the video was adjusted that you don't see some of the people face it. It seemed to me like the video. I probably want to keep... Um, keep the identity of some of the people there out. I don't know if it was if it was um adjusted that they don't see some of the people face. But um I saw and heard. I don't know if that's the same video that is going that is handed over to police and to the government. But we saw what the description of the scene that we hear from people voice over the last few days. The video that I saw fit the description of the of, of um, what people are saying. So I want um, anyone who, most, you know, quite a few people who watch that video to communicate with us both by phone and by text message about that video and the happenings that happen so often and it will not stop happening just so, not going to stop happening. What my mind run on now is um, that policeman there you now, yeah, you're not going to Yeah, you're not going and you see how he might go on. If him family member them now, like all of him wife and baby mother, and him brother and sister, and him father and mother, and him picnic them. How them feel when them see? How them feel when them see him in action? Plenty of them know him still a long time before doing that. Not only him, hundreds of more in there, like in the police force like him. Hundreds of more. Most of them male. And none of them family and associate and friend and them neighborhood know how them stay. But some of them, them friend, them friend them and them neighborhood don't know because only when them go out on duty, them behave that way. Most, plenty of them, them keep quiet and put on a different personality when them out of uniform. So you, you know, I got know all of them. But some of them, some of them is well known. Them behave is known by them family and them community. But that one, um, family. That one family and friend and um, relative and victims are the victims. But especially family and their associate and friend them. How them feel when them see? When them see that behavior of them, all the problem used to be before. Now next thing. I um habits that are undesirable. Habits that are undesirable. Once you or me, or any human being. Once any person come to a conclusion that them they're going to discontinue undesirable habits, 
if them observe themselves and observe other people, they will get some clues how to go about it. One of the main things I learned from growing up and observing other people's behavior, my behavior, how other people's behavior affect me, how my behavior affect other people. One of the main things I learned is that um, you can't change other people. You can influence other people, you might be, but, but, but not by your decision. No. Cause you can decide if and who you're going to influence. It just happens, it just so happens that you might influence some other people, might, maybe, but you can't change other people. You might be able to influence other people, but you can't change other people. The person you can change is you. The person you can change is you. So, observing and observing myself and observing other people, observing other people's behavior, how it affects me and how my behavior affects other people and so on. I mean, learn and learn. And then, you know, especially typically like maneuvering in traffic, whether you're driving or whether a pedestrian on the road going into a bus crossing the road and thing. Whether it's driving or on foot. I come to learn that if I want to change my bad driving habits for the better. Because you can't change bad driving habits for worse driving habits. Yeah, you can't change it for the worse. But if you want to change for the better, I get to find. I don't know about anybody else. I get to find. That if I want to change my bad driving habits, not only I have to, before I start drive, you can't decide it when you are driving. You know? I mean, you try to change things when, you, when you, you start already. No, no works so easy. You have to decide before you start drive. Before you start up your car, you have to decide that you're not going to, you're not going to um, maintain those bad, those many different bad driving habits that you have become accustomed to. On this drive here, every driver you make, you have to make the same decision. You can about decide about tomorrow and next week. It's now you have to decide about uh, and no one and um, the next instance. So you have to decide that um, you're not going to main, you're not going to maintain or um, or give in to them bad habits. No. Right now. You're not going to do it. But the other thing you have to do, you have to regard the other driver them now. Not all the other drivers, because most of the drivers, most of the human beings are well behaved. Most human beings are well behaved. But you have to decide that those other ones who will badly behave on the road as driver or as pedestrian, you're not going to react to them. You're not going to react to them tit for tat, or sometimes tat before tit. Because if you see them, are going to do a dirty thing sometimes. You know. Sometimes you, count, you try to counteract them before. That's the worst thing you could have done. Tat fit it even worse than tit fit that. So you have to decide apart from the fact that no, you are not going to continue the practice of them bad driving habits or pedestrian habits or living habits, any kind of habit. You're not going to do it. You also have to know that you are not going to react to anyone else's bad behavior in a tit fit that or tat fit it way. You have to decide that from before. And gradually now if you maintain that, it will become a good habit. The thing that you decide to do instead become a good habit, become a habit that you just do it automatically. Well, one of the main things that I find effective is that um, suppose somebody swing out in front of you or do the usual sudden dirty thing or even if it's long, pre as can, sometimes you can't say long before they're out to do it, you know, but most of them, them just do it suddenly. When them do it, one of the best things I find to do is don't identify them. You see the car or move or the bus or move or that and you avoid it. And you try to do any other spiteful move, tat fit it or tit fit that. But also, for me, I don't know how you stay, but for me, I find it is better. You don't identify the person. So most time I for years you know, if them do them dirty thing there, if I can't stop them from doing it by doing a tat fit it thing, speed up or close up the space or something. If I can't do that and I'm get you. The next time we draw up or the next time we see that car, because sometimes you all note down car, you know. And you book them up all halfway around the island, all hundred miles away, you know, so the same car, the same driver. Or maybe it's the next stop sign, you and them come level. And the worst thing for do is when you and them come level is to look cross upon them and identify them. Because once you identify them, you identify a face and a person, and you attach a face and a person to it. 
And that's how the trouble start. Because you have you to keep up that image there in your mind, you know. And the anger. If you don't say nothing to them, the anger and the disgust. When build up, multiply, do not open it, multiply. So it's best you do them. I best you ignore them. You best you watch them behavior and avoid it. But don't follow it up and try to see who did do it. Better for you not to do that. If you want to if you if you want to change your habits. Because if you follow them up, you the anger and the reaction that you are going with yourself is not going to be easy to change the habit either of tit fit tat or tat fit it or of Next time you and them buck up, you say something or you do something. Because you follow it up and you identify them. That going to remain with you, accompanying you, until when you and them can buck up the next time. So you have to ignore them. It's best for you. Don't identify people with dirty things. Better you try avoid them. And avoid that behavior. Avoid reacting to them behavior. Best for you to identify them because once you identify them, as I say, you, you, you just check it out for yourself if what I'm saying having a truth. Net. Once you identify them, you're not going to leave that behind, you're going to carry that. Sometimes, they, if you do even drive up beside them, sometimes you still identify them because you know? we know all the JUTC bus do some dirty thing. If you do even see the driver, you know, say the JUTC that so. Differently, you identify them and you have an image in their mind say, dot your old J-U-T-C. So that in their mind still just like a person. You know? There's a pity you can't just forget say that big yellow busted do that nasty thing there. But leave it alone, don't matter come identify them, much less we go look upon them, much less we go say something. And afraid, afraid of them, you know? you're trying to get rid of that um, dirty influence, because it will influence in a dirty way if you identify them. And follow them up. So, I don't know if you, yes, I know there's many things that you learn in one place and you can apply it in the next place. Things where you learn in a swimming pool, you can apply it in a life, and things where you learn on a running track, you can apply it to that, and things where you learn studying, or things where you learn at home, you can apply the lesson to other things. But it's not all while you can apply one lesson to a next kind of activity. But when you can do it, it is useful. For instance, um, when um, the government and people who work with the government and people who work with biz big business and them kind of way, when they when them pull off some dirty thing upon you and upon we, it's hard for you to identify them because they show up themselves so much that you know that it's them. So this um, principle we learn from not drawing up side the next driver and nobody look for them. Just forget them and just watch them and avoid them. Avoid them behaving in the future or right in the present. It's not so easy for it to work in a government or in a public or them kind of way. Because you don't know them and know them dirty move over them do. But you still have to try um I do if you know if you can say forget them. You have, to, you have to kind of disidentify, disidentify them and nobody, no, nobody um, take it too personal. When them do some dirty thing, not to take it too personal. Even though you know so them personally do the dirty thing. If you want to improve and change your behavior, I tell you, you okay, can't follow them up um, too personal or watch them too much. And it's and it hard to. It is hard to blank out them identity because them, them show up themselves so much that you know them identity. Not looking down on anybody else, but this kind of behavior, including me and your behavior, when we, when we maintain the worst habits, is like a lower animal behavior. So if you go through the traffic, I see some dirty thing I go on. You have to regard it like a, some animal behavior. So you can't go down to that behavior. All you have to do is just avoid them animal behavior there. Like oh, if it is a big pack, pack of bad dog. A wolf, or if you see a pack of gunmen around come through a community, you would have to regard them like um, some animal. And if you see the pack of dog, you regard it and say some animal behavior. So it is best to avoid, avoid that confrontation with it. And then use some higher form of intelligence and higher form of 
behavior now for overcome for them one. So, without looking down on other people, you have to know that a part of the reality is that this animal behavior take place. Especially when human beings move in a crowd and big numbers. A lot of animal behavior take place and some animal behavior is very good, you know. But some of the worst kind of the worst kind of animal behavior. If you don't um if you don't accept say some animal behavior and that people follow crowd action a lot of time human beings follow crowd action and do the worst thing. Especially crowd action led by popular people. You will um you won't, you won't avoid you won't avoid the confrontation with it and then be able to overcome it because if you overcome this um, lower animal behavior you have to both avoid it and then overcome it in some better ways especially by associating with um, your associating yourself with higher higher animal behavior which is a human being and other human beings who determine to maintain a higher the behavior of the higher animal or the highest animal which is human being. Anyway, long story short, I went around the numbers and and welcome your participation in the program here. Please run the number please. For straight up we have a choice of number. Seven zero two three four seven zero. 702 3470 Digital number 618-18-2-3. Digital 6181823. All straight lines. Text line 899-7657. Text line 899-7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com. www.newstalk93fm.com. Yes, welcome to Straight Up. Good morning. Morning, Jerry. Oh, go on. Plenty things, you know. You know, as you talk about dirty this and dirty that, you see? Yeah. PMP is a government. When they're in power, the place looks dirty. You know? If, so, you, if you say so, I, don't, I, I never really am. Yeah, well, well. As a man like me, well, listen to radio over the years. Me hear people complain about dirt more when TNT in a power. Right? The other day, for fresh start, some people do a walk across Jamaica. Like them a walk from Moran Point to Negro Point. And one of the things we complain about is the amount of dirt. Right? Right now, I'm the half red hills road. And from a couple of days now, the smoke where you smell, smell like when they, they are born dead dog. Uh. Right? Now, you were upset me you now. If after 50 or much years of independence, we can make up our mind how to properly dispose of our waste, you know, see something is wrong. Yeah, man. No, yeah, man. And we I don't like both government plural in, in, in well, I said that too, because in all honesty, you, you, you know, I say one at a time, I buck up where the lady in a the other administration we run down at the dump. You see me? I think she's not the PNP now. Webley Garden. Well, well, yeah. I had not had the book of Van Durban Malcolm program one evening. And I suggest the whole thing of composting to us. 
And I see she going a big, big, you know. Yeah. Them not give me no acknowledgement, though, you know. Yeah. And Desmond Mackenzie, one even more of a bojo, and get a call from my phone. Uh, JR have, have Desmond Mackenzie on the line. Problems them have with both half a tree and the eagle of them. And I suggest a thing to them. And it results in a day, this whole heap of digital thing where you see out oh, there now. The boot them and the yeah. space allocation. Yeah. He said he did suggest that to them. But them not give me no acknowledgement. But at least I see them do it. Yeah. yeah the PNP now, yeah, I have said to them from long time, say, everywhere, in the 21st century of our life, every, every, everything where you call waste, is raw material for something else. All it needs is set out some days from Sunday right back to Saturday. And anybody who in need of these ways, make them take for them for you tell the people, say, all right, Sunday, put out paper and cardboard. All right, well on, well on there. Yes. Ah... Uh. How oh, come on? If you are if you are favorable to the PNP administration, but you will give ideas to anybody. Yeah. Floyd Morris, um, contact you making any use of your fertile mind yet? How uh, oh, come? Me na, me na no, me na, me na no. Maybe competition is a thing where. But um, but but then do you mean you might end up in the Senate? Maybe. Now worry yourself though. Uh, uh, and then now two of them can muzzle my mouth. Yeah. Is a, is a problem. Because yeah. I, I have said to them, you have seven days in the week. Yeah. You can set the waste them out over seven. Yeah, we can see where you're going. See the pattern where you are. I can recognize the pattern. Um, yeah. Anyway, when we have more time, we, we can go further into this. Uh, further into this. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hi, Jerry. Good morning to you. Yes, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm bad at all. Good morning to the staff of 93 and to my Jamaicans all over the world. From the North Pole to the South Pole, everywhere. Morning to you. All. Jerry, it is really disgusting, I can tell you. This is a thing. It is, um, nights ago I washed the sheet and the mattress father and put it on the line. Just the morning when my daughter took it up with No, yeah, talk too low. You wash a sheet two days ago and what happened? I washed the sheet and the mattress pad, you know the mattress pad yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. mm. um, I washed that with the um and the, um it was Wednesday evening. I don't tell it to keep my face overnight outside, you know, usually, you know. But then anyhow I had to I did, I did that. And Yesterday morning, it was all over in smoke. All day yesterday was this smoke. It is right now we look outside, it's it just, it, it, it just smoke. All right, well, let's go for a break, please. Go for a break. Yes, well, yes, welcome back. You're still there, ma'am. Yes, I am here, Jerry. Yeah. Let me tell you something, listen. Keep your voice up, no, up, up. Uh-huh, my voice is up. Listen, I don't know, la I think it was late last year, or it was last year that I jumped in, and I thought it was late last year, year before. It was half as bad as now, because right now I'm looking outside, and the whole place is just, just smoke, 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 all over the place, smelling it. As the, the guy who called the first thing, that this, 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 it's like an animal. It smells like animal, whether it's a human fish or, or, or animal fish burning. It's is the same you know, that's, you know. And so I don't understand. I just tell it on the side. They're saying it's political, you see. But I would never ask what to let the dump. I would like to ask the question. Who, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, hello. hello. Uh-huh. Who here said so that is political thing? That this morning on the earlier program. That said it this morning on the earlier program, and Sharon was so upset about it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I just ask you one thing, you know. I ask you who, and you're not tell me who you tell me a lot of different things. I say, who you say is saying is a political thing? Beth, Beth, like you know, the Beth. You, know, you mean the woman on the phone all the while, the Beth, the Beth woman? Yes. Well, what do you expect from her? <laughs> well, you know. Maybe it is, you know, the last time that I did make some reference to those things, you see? Hmm. Alton, what's name Alton, what? He used to in charge, I dumped it. 
It's like him a threaten saying why well, sue me. Because I didn't make reference to some things that did take place down there while he was there. But what do you expect? Suppose it maybe it's a political thing or maybe it's um, some kind of rivalry, but you, 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 you never expect that. You know, but um, she shouldn't say that though. That she should, that should never come out of her mouth. No, but if we're going to spend time discussing what she should do and shouldn't do. But I hear the people down there saying that why would they want that, that the dump when um, that's the, the dump, the live off the dump. That's the dump that the, the, the dump that sends the children to school. You know, when they want to dump, they spend a lot of valuable things. They use it to sell and to send the children to school and to university and all that. Right? This is what I hear some women saying. Right? You see? I don't know who likes it or who, who have done that. Like All I know is a very bad thing because of the, the, the whole the entire corporate area is being affected by it. Or maybe parishes outside the corporate area also. That it is this bad. Very, I'm telling you that this, 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 this government, Jimmy says, like Nineveh now. Nineveh, like, Nineveh, like what? You know, um, um, and I'm saying that the, 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 from, from, the, um, from the Prime Minister, the Governor General, all the mayors, all of them, they need to have a... Um, some kind of retreat now and going fasting, prayer and fasting for maybe a week. Prayer and fasting? Yes, prayer and fasting. I don't want to insult you. I was going to say something, but you might feel insulted. No, but as I'm saying, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, the leader of the opposition, and all the mayors, all the heads of government heads, need to go in prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting? Yeah, man. What that going to do? Hold on. If the Governor General and, and the Prime Minister and the, and the opposition there of prayer and fast, what do you I mean, to, 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 to sort of, maybe because, you know, very little, Solomon asked God, pray and No, I don't want you to tell about Solomon, no, I don't. Hello, I don't want you to tell about Solomon, you know. Mm. I want you to tell about them here one year. If them pray and fast, what going to so, 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 turn around of Jamaica. A joke, yeah. Turn around of this violence. That yes, a joke, yeah, And this whole, whole. A joke, yeah, make man, joke. With all respect, with all respect, it sounds like it's a joke you're telling. Jamaica is on a downward trend. Yes, okay. Jamaica yeah. is on a yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, first time caller, long time listener. I actually was deported from the U.S. about three years ago. Yeah. And like I said, like I, I didn't know anything about Jamaica until like I started listening to you. So yeah. just calling to say, man, keep doing the good work, all right? Appreciate it. I'm learning a lot from you, all right? Yes, sir. So, you take care of yourself. But hold on. Like so how old were you when you were taken to where is the United States? Yes, sir. How old were you when you were taken there? I was six. Six. And who took you? My mom. And where she is? Everybody's in the state but me. And they, her, her, her status is, is legal? Yeah. Every, oh, it was, it, was it, was it, was, it was because of illegal status that you were deported, deported because it was because of some involvement. Yeah, minor stuff, minor oh. stuff, correct. But you were taken away when you were very young and um and this uh, idea for you never know Jamaica well. No, I didn't know Jamaica well. So how you survive now? Right. Uh, if it's not for my family, I don't know what the hell I would do to be honest. I'm not hearing you. How you survive? If it, my, my, if it wasn't for my family, I don't know what I would do. How long you been back here now? I've been back here three and a half years. But little by little you should be getting some ideas what you could do to bring in some income. Oh definitely, definitely, yeah. Working on that. While keeping out of trouble? Correct, correct. You no, I mean, something to do that would not get you into trouble. Come again, the here. You should be able to figure out some ways to bring in some income that would not get you into legal trouble. Correct. I'm, yeah, working on that, working on that. Well, it's great that, that um, you, you, you maintain your hopes, you know? All right, man. Yes, sir. Then now, hello? Yeah, I'm listening. You start earning the money yet? No, not yet. I just got my driver's license and working on getting a car. That's great. So you know that in the meantime, I can't tell you what to do, but if you are my son or if, if you are my friend, I would advise you, don't, don't get any young lady pregnant until then you start bringing some money and you, and you, 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 live, you, you, you control a quarter to yourself, whether it's rent or buy. Okay, thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks that is, that, advice, is, that right? is pressure you're going to put on yourself and on the young lady if you do that. All right, man. Thanks again, okay? All right, dear, sir. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job you're doing, okay? Well, I hope so. I'm learning, man. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Bye. That means that deportation is not the end of the road. That's, That's great. That's so true. That's great. All right, thanks. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Small. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. And you? Fine. Thank you. All right. Now, Mrs. Um, Minister Lisa Hanna. Yeah. I heard on the news 
you know, reminding persons of what um, the penalties under the law yeah, for it. harming children. Yeah. And equally, those who know about it and do not report it. Yes. Now, these things need to be real. People need to be constantly reminded of these things. Yeah. And the law also needs to be enforced. The law doesn't need anything, you know, ma'am? Yes. The, yeah. people, the law needs something? No, it's true. The oh. law uh, has its own... I, 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 um, I understand what you mean, in its own right. You know, is there for persons to enforce it. Yeah. Right. Now, the two main atrocities that are being carried out against our children currently, yeah. right, are them being killed and the sexual offenses, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it is ironic that two of our elected officials are before the courts for similar offenses. Right? What? What, of, what kind of offense? The one who hit down with most child. Not to hit, I mean, kill down. Kill down, thank you very much. And I don't know what kind and of... And who is the second one? Being. Who is the second one? That one is one and the second one is one. The other one out in St. Thomas, where the, um, the counselor was trying to cover up. Yeah. Right? This is done that is a sexual offense. Cover up for a pastor. Yes. And yes. the pastor was suspected of a sexual offense? Exactly. And was it a young person that was involved? Child. Yes, I, that's what I was thinking when I remembered yesterday. Yes, so the two main things that are being perpetrated against our children, yeah. two of our elected officials, and Mr. Small, it is said that you're innocent until proven guilty. No, that's not right. You are to be treated as innocent. You are not innocent. Because you, you, are to, guilty. you are to be treated as innocent yes. until proven guilty. Until proven guilty. Thank you for that, Mr. Small. And if they... Well, we're not expecting to leave by no example. But as a matter of principle, these two persons should be asked to step aside pending the outcome of the investigation. Well, now, from what the, the little that me and you know, or the little that you know about these groups and people and these governments and these parties, yeah. do you think Lisa Hanna has raised the topic about this counselor and his, and this behavior out in St. Thomas, or about the Whitmore father? You believe that she raised those things inside of them, them cabinet and inside of them um, area meeting? I don't think so, right? Obviously, it has, they, they have not been raised because they, they go as far as to give the, the, the police lady out here a fine tracing. You watched TV news last night? Yes. Did you see a walk, a march that was staged? It was like a stage show or it was like a, a play that was being rehearsed? Yes. Yeah. With Azan and the mayor of, uh, yeah. Azan and the mayor of, of, of Maypen. Yes. Yeah. Marching with a crowd of picnic and forcing the liquor picnic them for hold them on. Yes. And them a march and stop and march and stop because them not do it right. I rehearsed them was rehearsing. You saw it? No, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. A anymore. real puppy show. Uh -huh. I'm but they, you. These, these are these are the same kind of people who um their party and their government close ranks yes. and cover up things for them. Yes. And then tell people that um they have been found to be innocent and go on and go on. But and go on and go on. We have to um we have to avoid focusing upon them so much and find you see not until we find some superior ways of doing things. The reason why we still suffering these these um inconvenience by them. Yeah. Is because we we haven't arrived at we haven't fully arrived at a a better, superior way of thinking and doing things yet. But we gonna you know, we, we expect I'm it to Sorry, yes, interrupt. But a way to, I, I think, to describe what you're saying is we need to stop being like the three monkeys. Yeah. We cover up with eye, we nose, and we mouth. We don't see, we don't hear, and we don't say nothing. All right. Yeah. We call, need call. to be like what Queen Africa said. We don't say we must go fast in everybody's business. Yeah, yeah. But oh. we need more nose in the elbows. All right, thank you. Especially when it comes to our children. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up. Hello. Hello. Well, welcome. Welcome. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. I want a few sweet arts. Sweet what? Sweet arts. From where? From where? From anywhere. Try them to these so-called leaders we have. 
and say, look, make a deal with these people to deal with the, the garbage and to generate some um, energy that we can well do with. What sweet, what you say, sweetheart? Yeah, man, make a sweetheart deal. Oh. That's what you need. Mm. And get the, the business of, um, uh, of dealing with uh, garbage in terms of how it needs to be dealt with in, 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 in three areas. Getting it up, uh, have it sorted, getting it up, and use what you can use to produce um, energy. Let's go for a break and come back. Yeah. Morning, morning. Welcome back to the yard here, sir. Yes, I'm there. I am. Um, uh, are, 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 are we listening? Yes, man. Mm. I am. Um, I observe and I learn that um, that human beings every now and again find better ways of doing things and find better ways of um, preventing abuse by other human beings. And then after a while, sometimes the the negative or the bad, the bad minded, some of the bad minded human beings find another superior way for go, go, go do some worse thing. And within a certain amount of time, the better-minded human being find a better way to overcome. You know, so you find that is a, you know, so you find that like, all right, all right you know, human being learn how to make machine that can transport you instead of animal, right? And after a while, human being start to drive those transportation in a way that is reckless and don't care about the people who walk in. And after a while now, the other human being make some rule out to control, you know, that speed must be controlled and you must have a set of force out there to enforce that um, you mustn't drive reckless and so on until some other people find some wicked out, you know. And, but, but, so you believe that um, me and you, I assume that we are looking out for better and looking out for good, right? Yeah, we need to solve some problems, create some... Um so you, uh, you, you opportunities yes, where people can yes. get so you don't um, you don't can, feel can tap into on a on a yeah so so therefore so, so therefore we should be working on working out some better workable ways that we can overcome the the, the um, plenty of the foolishness are going yeah, by other human beings a, a lot of the nonsense that's going on where people are abusing people and particularly young people are getting a lot of it is is um comes out of economic deprivation here. Yeah? Right? People are deprived, depressed down by the economic conditions and then started the foolishness. Right? Or prey on other people. Prey on the young. Yeah. Prey on the young and the vulnerable. So even though a big part of it is economic. Yes, yeah, so even and, though and some of the foolishness that imbibing over on the on multimedia. Yeah. Looking at it long enough, frequent enough, they think it's normal. So even though me and you and the mass of the people don't have any political power, you... Yeah, you, man, there's you, power there, need, but we need to exercise it. No, but me, I say something, but you know, Hello? you I say even though me and you and the mass of the people don't have no political power, you realize that it, that, it, um, it, that it is not only possible, but it is necessary and it is likely that the people without political power are going to work out some ways one day to get those with political power under control. You realize that's possible? And yeah, we have several templates that have been de demonstrated in the last 15 or 20 years elsewhere in the world. Okay, all right. All right, we need to adopt some of those account to our Jamaican condition. Well, so thank you very much. Uh, yes. As long as you're... Complete yes, sir. our deal to get investment externally, to collect how the garbage sorted at the domestic and commercial premises, convey to points wherever, Generate um, energy. So, so tell me something now. Sweetheart deal. For the soil. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Sweetheart deal, you see. What that? Sweetheart deal and no corruption. No, not if it's above board. Because you, you said that's what you're doing. And why you're doing it, right? And you're, and you're tapping to the point. All right, all right next time. I want, you, down the road. I want you to call me later in the program and explain to me what you mean by what, what sweetheart deal is. Okay? Yes, Thank you, bro. No, we have to go now to another call. Call me back and tell me. Let's go to the next call. Next call. Good morning. Morning. Welcome. Good 
you like. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Um, I, I want to equate the, the chicken gun here phenomenon with the, with, the, with, the, with the river stand city. Yeah. I think we are going. Yeah. I, I, see, I, see, I see two things are in common here. Yeah. Um, no. Let's see the people have collateral damage and negligence. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I said no. I think I'm going to take some soldier from, the, from, 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 from camp and farm a ring around the, the, the river tank. You see. Yeah. So, you might end up with 78 river tank people dead. Well, at least you have to have in the come to do investigation. Oh, so make so not care about it, just um surround Riverton like Tivoli. And if seventy eight dead you put um you put in the company. Yeah but if I'm a no say I'm gonna go have him in 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 life in, in the balance. So, you know, it's like hanging a man. Oh so if, if a man know him gonna have him life in the balance, him going to behave himself. Yeah. And like how you have the law of hanging if people commit murder. That is keeping down murder. Yeah, yeah. It's keeping down murder. Mm -hmm. And like how um, the police know that people are watching them and videotaping them when them um, when them draping up, man. Them, them, not, them going to stop from, from shot, man. Yeah. They're going to stop it. They're going to stop it now, but cut it down. It cut down? Yeah. Yeah, so, with me say, you know, because, watch out, you, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Ayrton Bennett from the, you know, I did. Actually, I cry, you know, man. I, I, Mr. The, the thing, I think, you say it affects everybody on a kind of emergency um, parent to come to them children, you know. Yeah. And you want to tell me, every, every, every time I just same thing, I go on, I go on, I go on, man, I can't stop. You want to tell me, say, all them doctors and all them things, they so bright, you know, in the government, and they, and they can't find a solution to that problem we are having so long. Eh? You know, ah. it's an idiot thing that. Yeah. They don't care about the people. Them see the people that's collateral damage. And you say you love poor people, you love people. You can't look, you see, you see, it's long and dumb. You have some pretty house down there, the man. I, I'm, I'm sure you know, say, them people that down there, now I left them house, you know. Them down there, so keen, them, 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 um, them, 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 them smoke there. And I kill themselves. Yeah. You know that. All right, yes, sir. Thank you very much, yes. Yeah, cool. Good morning. Welcome to the state of Hello. Robin. Right, yes, well, sir. Blessed morning, man. Why right, one? Why, enough things are going on in a Robin. Yeah. I hear one of the things we are going on now. Love don't hurt no one. Love hurt nothing. Love, love, is, love don't hurt nobody. Robin, mm -hmm. the smoke we are going on right now. Yeah. You see, it's for me, the Robin. Mm. You have to pass Patrick City, Primacal, Dwayne Park, Corville Garden, Riverton, and other places to reach me. I wish for me there, and me pull my door, Robin. And when me pull my door, it's like, Robin, any mosquito be alive right now is a, a bionic mosquito. And Robin, when you, when, you, when you look up the road, you can't even see up the road, Robin. Mm. Eh? It's a murder, Robin. Uh, Robin, I know say this thing I go on this year and it not go on next year now. Uh, every year thing this I go on, you know, Robin. Robin, my neighbor put her clothes on the line and she will take it off. Robin, yesterday, you know, I fly through your window, them. Some, you know, when they are born keen and them black grids do, they have fly. Yeah. A damn thing they are fly yesterday now. Yeah, man, I see it. Eh? We are the leaders, Robin. Robin. You can't ask me that. You, 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 me, you, you, you know me, I regard them as a leader. No, me, me, no, no. In the sense of asking a question. Oh. I throw it out there and ask you yes, as it. an individual. Yes. Well. I throw it out there. Yeah. Because ah. them, 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 RD and them, them SUV and all of that and them glass wide up on them, them air condition, them, them don't care about us. But that, that, most of the time when I get an opportunity, that's why I, I encourage people to disregard them 
as any superior. Now the first step you have to do, the first step, um, the first step to free to freedom is to free yourself and um, disregard them as any superior and know yourself to be equal to anyone and you don't require to be ruled over no one. Time around, Robbie, yeah, you, know somebody, you know, a bet come on from the radio program and say this man is political motivated. Why, why, why should I say something like that? I why them, why, 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 why for, core, for score political points, you come on from the radio and say them things, the man? But why would I waste time um, examining her? It, with people. No, like but listen to me. What did you say? What did you say? Why would I waste time examining her? And her boss. Why would I waste time doing that? Uh, Robin, yeah, yeah, man. What good years, sir? All right. No, man, you know, there's no giving up. It's not like you give up. There's no giving up. Can't be any giving give up. Give up, Robin. Then if me give up, more than the radio. Uh, yes, okay, but don't yes, waste any Robin, time. Me never give up. Yeah, man, don't waste no time examining her. Yes, sir. I'll go to the next call. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up. Hello. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Small. Go ahead. The time, the time, is, the time is short. Um, uh, I'm going to call back. I'm going to tell you something, Mr. Small. Yes, the dump, um, get a fire. And... The smoke and thing are, are pollute and, and people things. And people are um, sick. But let me tell you something smart. When people come ask me what where the leaders, why leaders why leaders come to, to that to that now? There are people who are designated um, um, to deal with the dump. They deal with the dump. What I what I would love to, for the minister to do, um, the person in charge of the dump to do, is to employ the same people who live around there, stop employing police and so they can't watch the dump. If the man a river turn them to put there to watch the dump. And I'm sure that you, you'll find less fire at that dump. To hold on, to watch the dump, that what? To make sure we take care of the place. No, no, you said, no, 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 don't switch, don't switch. To watch the dump, so that what? Watch. That, no, fire, that, 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 um, and nobody light it. Oh, so, so the people who live down there must be put to watch that, nobody no light it. Then no, who, the hold on, then who is it that light in it? Eh? Who is it that light in it? Hold on, who is it that light in it? The people down there. Oh, so you are saying that to the people them down there that light in it. Yes, yes, yes. So, well, well, Andy, you are saying that mm. the people down there light in it, mm. and you are saying now that you must pay them not to light it. Pay them to watch it. I'm, 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 look what? at Jerry. You, know, you are as you know, hey, hello, you are as corrupt as them come. Look at you. But it's no surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go. Good morning, welcome to Australia, brother. Yes, you see, you miss saying that it's the people them down there light the dump, and his solution is pay them. To don't light it. So yes, I say he, 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 that is him all him thinking. Uh, because that is him thinking. So somebody like that now, you can't put somebody like that to solve the problem. No, you have to put somebody for watch him or pay him for, for, for no light. It, 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 it sounds like a dog that chase a tail. And dog that chase them tail, them not, re, them not really, um, them not really right to Let's go for the 10 minute line news, straight up. Good morning with the latest headlines, I'm Kayla Wright. Opposition spokesman on finance, Audley Shaw, has expressed surprise at the level of new taxes being proposed by the government. Yesterday, Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips opened the budget debate in Parliament and announced a raft of revenue measures to block the more than $10 billion gap in the budget. Among them is an additional $7 per litre to be paid on the special consumption tax on petrol and diesel. Shaw says Phillips had led persons to believe that the tax package for the upcoming year would be relatively modest. He says the increase in the gas tax will negatively impact production and will have an inflationary effect on the economy. Attorney at law Michael Lorne will return to the corporate area arm court to answer to charges of forgery and fraudulent conversion in relation to a land transaction with this morning. Lorne, who entered a not guilty plea last week, was arrested by detectives from the fraud squad and offered $500,000 station bail. Lorne says the charges stem from a plot of land he sold on behalf of a brother and sister sometime in 2010 or 2011 after their father died. 
the United States has expressed concern over Britain's effort to become a founding member of a Chinese-backed bank that could rival the likes of the World Bank. The UK is the first big Western economy to apply for membership of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, AIIB. The AIIB will fund Asian energy, transport and infrastructure projects. However, the U.S. has raised questions over the bank's commitment to international standards on governance. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 3, 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight Up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Welcome. Welcome back to Straight Up. This is, I'm your host, Jerry Small. And um, we have some text messages. And then we take a call. And then now we have a very interesting guest as usual in a few minutes. Santa. A long time drama of the music industry of Jamaica, Santa, and his son. Text message. Good morning, Mr. Small. Please to send Earth Day greetings to, the, to my son, Aymari Luke, on his 11th birthday. And big up the staff and students of St. Patrick's Primary School, coming from dad and mother, Ian Luke. So that is um, birthday greetings for the 11th birthday of Aymari Luke. Next one. Morning, Jerry. This might sound rough. But I think they should move all the people off the dump and the fire will stop. Because of expertise in them job, you know. They are picked for reward them. Party people then pick them for reward them for, um, for help win the election. That's what they get the job for. Next one. Morning, Jerry. I hope Miss Joyce know that war is not the right way to get people out of parliament as she is suggesting. Oh, I think I dear Miss Joyce. Um, get frustrated this morning and talk about some more. Well, we go back to the, te the telephone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. Morning. Um, that was a good segue into exactly where I want to go. Yeah. That person who holds that job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, in certain environments and certain countries, that lady would have been fired immediately. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And when you think about the fact that when you had the Samadale fire thing, yeah. where all those poor, poor girls perished, they died yeah. under her watch, right? And instead of she being charged for criminal negligence, the PNP government went ahead and did what? Promoted her in an area that is even more significant. And I said that I don't mean that where she was before is not significant. But the solid waste management thing is not a joke business. And each time this lady come on the television is a lot of fancy, eloquent speech. And as you rightfully say, you cannot continuously put people in place because they have doctorate or what have you, and they don't have the expertise. And this is one of the things that is killing this country right now. You know, I live in um, Norbrook, and up here is filled with smoke. Can you imagine what is happening to these people who are right in the vicinity, and that lady still have a job? No, man. You know, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Well, and, I... you know, that is basically my thought on that. I don't oh, know what? if you can add some yeah, well, and... to it to reinforce yeah, well, and... discuss and anger. Yes, well, and don't hang up. As I was um, suggesting this morning, because, you know, I think about it and think, you know, we all think about things from time to time. We try not to think in the same way every day if it's not working. Try to find new and better, not just new and different, you know, new and better ways to think. Think that um, ways that are effective and that will have some effect. And as I was saying, if we are to overcome some of our bad habits and overcome the bad habits of others, the effect of the bad habits of others, like in the traffic, I find that it is um, very useful to not to try to identify the individual driver who just did some wicked thing a while ago. Yes. Because it's not going to be good for you. So that is why now, I don't, you know, sometimes I might, but I try not to focus on the individual like Jennifer Edwards mm -hmm. or Portia Simpson Miller or the different individual them. Because it's only going to get you more angry when you focus on them. It's better you focus on the vehicle. And avoid the vehicle and note the behavior of the vehicle regardless of who the driver is. Yes. And so on. But um, we must 
if we are to escape the bad effects of, of them behavior, because they are an interest group, you know. Yes. And their main interest is to be in political power forever and for their, their them children to come in political power after that. We have to we have to work out some better ways that can get them under control and not just um, try to focus on them. It don't, it just going to get you angry and rot. Well, my, my friend, let me tell you something. There was something as professional, because I am an engineer. Yeah, we're not, we're not 10 seconds. All uh, professionals, you see, we have something not only just from a book talk thing, yeah. but our conscience yeah. tells us that there is a code of ethics. You see, if you can't manage something, step away from it. All right, call me again soon, because we're kind of gone over the time. But, yeah, but, right, but um, cool. we have to find better ways that can work to get them people here under control. Well, I, I don't have to really go to our next call. Next call. Thank you very much. No feeling away. We really, if we don't get control of the time, um, you know, if we don't control the time, apart from stopping other people from getting to call, we're only going to get more and more rot. Morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Morning, welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. You see, that's what I mean. If we don't um, keep things under control, we're going to lose a couple of the callers that we did have. We're going to feel very irritated. And um, the quality of what we're doing will suffer. So that is why, if I want you that we're out of time, feel no way when if we have to pull out from your call. We just have to do it, otherwise we're just going to get more and more we're just going to get more and more dissatisfied with our own self. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Go ahead, please. Run the number, Simi, please. Hello. Good morning. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Yes, yes Jerry. Walk on, walk on. Right, right now, I'm on Waymon Drive. Yeah. And the smoke down here, I tell you, I don't know all the people that live down here is managing. Believe me, Jerry, they are going through hell. Believe me, they are going through hell. But this is Jamaica, and people don't get fired for doing a bad job. They get promotion. And the other issue now, Jerry, tomorrow is the anniversary of the Britain killing. Yeah. So, the fight continue. The same thing is happening over and over again. The same policemen, them, they are still in their job to do the same thing over and over again. And has anything changed since Britain? Government change. Okay, okay. Are the same policemen are there? Hmm? Up to, have, have you seen the video, Jerry, that is circulated about this incident in Lawrence Sovereign? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, and I understand that this man is still in the job, you know. Yeah. He's not suspended now, he's taking a frontline duty. Or he may escape from up there tonight, eh? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there are policemen who was warning him not to do it. Maybe at them rescue him. Yes, God, them, them, them run, left him and run to the station. Them left him? Them run, left him and run, and run, and run, run go to the station. Yeah. Hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You were told that them run, left him? Yes. So he was left there by himself? The two, three policemen, two run leave him because they did not support what he has done. Why are you just going over the same thing and we passed that but already? We are not listening, Jerry. That's why we're going through it because I explained to you that three policemen were there. That's the fifth time now you're going to tell me. All right. After them run left him now, he was there by himself? Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, he was. But because he have him gone and him just kill a man, nobody not really approach him. Exactly, because you not, you, you would not approach him, Jerry. Huh? You would not approach him. Would not approach him. You would not approach him after you see him do something like that. Who to tell? Hmm. You want me to tell you? No, no, no don't oh. worry, tell me. Don't oh. worry, tell me. Because don't I'm ask sure. and do, don't tell. I don't see the video, you know. I don't see the video myself as yet, but from what I, I read, I've got him give the man one shot, and him, him, it's like him realize that people were videoing it. Him come out of the video light, and look how people have at least four more shots. 
That was to make him escape. It must be. Must be. The, this man, this man, the man, the man of a cigarette of smoke, you want to search him, man. The man a question why you want to search him. You can just back back and shoot the man and expect to get away. Is this what we call justice? No, no, well, on. You, you, you don't relate to all of the words. Anyway, when you watch it again, you Let try... You know, Jerry, all right. you read about it. All right, when you watch it, you will hear many words that him talk before him even shoot the man. Okay. Many words on him talking and say, I have the power to do this, and I must repeat in a lot of time. I have the power to do this, and <laughs> I have the power to do that, and I have the power to do different things. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Yes, sir? All right, Jerry. Morning and welcome. Straight up, hello. Morning, Jerry. Welcome, welcome. Well, go on. Fine, thank you. Yeah, my daughter just came from Immaculate, say school closed through the smoke, you know? Yeah. Why well, even that not really call you about still, but things that topical, you know, just even mention it because, you know, it affect a lot of places now, corporate here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, when Perkins refer to the university as an intellectual ghetto, yeah. um, more and more, you see, I'm kind of sure Perkins is dealing with I'm not dealing with the outlay of the building and all them type of things. You know, people generally look on ghetto in terms of housing, fence and all them. You know, that's what I'm dealing with. Yeah. And if you have a mine shop up there, soon become a concrete jungle. The way the building will go. But I think Perkins more a look on the, the intellectual, intellectuals, more the principals, the professors and all those in a principal position. Because when I look for how the economy around, the country around, the political order, and see that we have the principal minds them up there, and them almost become quiet, except that at functions you hear them say a few things, but then careful not to talk and affect government. Right, not not everybody still you now, but on the whole, I'm even looking at some some issues recently. The Senate issue with the um unsigned, yeah, the undated pre-signed letters. Um, things are things are areas like every man must have a living space. The, the access to beachfront and just a number of issues were affected people life in general yeah. and there's even a radio station adjacent and to me they don't even participate except that they might call a man and invite a man on the program them come and them say a few things we appreciate that still right but it's not that to me definitely a look on them to make the change because the change will make without them when the time come but but i think that the fact that we all realize that this country need change for the better more accountability and thing it i, I don't know but but i like to invite them to to participate in this needed national change right because it's already a program jerry yeah okay, what am i listening to now Right, and oftentimes, because them now participate, politicians just laugh and say, nobody now fought for them, and I just Jerry and them rasta friend them and a few people. And yeah. I tell you, it's the moment the intellectuals them, right, identify themselves with the people, right, and start, uh, more things are still enough. Yeah. And it, 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 it's even better that, that, that way, that, that people you now misinterpret, say, I preach insurrection, like Commander Jack, um, John McFarlane in his interpretation that people might interpret that way. Yeah. Yet, I never listened to this question before, but he was unable to say to you, what did you say yes. that would, uh, would, would cause that? Yes, and, I it. Yes, and it was just, mi and it, uh, what, yes. whatever I said was just minutes before, and it caused him to phone in. That means that it, must, it, it must have been present. If it was so, it must have been present. In his mind, but him couldn't, yeah. um, 
Well, let, let me do... Come, come on, sir, in closing, I have to, I have to, to the intellectuals, then you see. You see, you see, cover this, cover this, you see. Because, let me tell you, Jerry, right, you and I don't necessarily agree with, 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 with certain things. There are no problems still, right? But, but, but we're, we're, I see, I thought the truth, right? It is my responsibility for joining you and strengthen what you say, right? And, you know, I, I see the need now myself, you see, especially when I tell you before I come out, you see, I rest up here and I, I, I take away myself from political involvement, right? And I say, it, it doesn't help me because it's a, it's a comeback, come, come on to it, yeah. right? So, I do my part, but, but to the intellectuals, you see, because they become coward, you see, right? Them, them become, them become coward to politician. I know, say, yeah. they must become like intellectual hostage, you know. Yes, well, I have to go now, but um, those things are a symptom of one other thing, that when the African people, when the black people in Jamaica get some education and, and, and start to get some job prospects, the vast majority of them draw themselves from the rest of the people and say, if you know what is true, I don't business with that, you know. I'm going to try to get you and make my children live more comfortable. Thank you very much, yes, sir. All right, Jerry. Yeah, man, go to another call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, Jerry. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. If I, if I would give the government, if I could give the JLP government and the PNP government the advice for that dump, when they have a Riverton city, you said, Jerry? Hmm. I would tell them to give the JDF the contract for the for the dump at Riverton City. Contract to do what? Contract to patrol it and get up all of those people who, who come on the dump. Yeah. And and to have a, a water truck and to get the fire brigade every day. Water the, the dump. Wet it up. Continue wet it up. Yeah. But here is now. So support them get the JDF the job for control down there, and the JDF stop, start to, to kill off people down there. Why the JDF don't kill off people, from Jerry? They put up a notice on the dump. Yeah. Do not enter the dump. Yes, and if you enter, what happens? I, I am not saying anybody to kill anyone. I'm asking you, the sign going to say, if you enter, what happens? I don't, I do, look here. Do not enter the dump. To pass that. Well, if you enter, what happens? I don't know. You don't care? Until I don't know, man. We don't make good word on what don't care, man. Mr. Don't care. All right, let, let, let him go. Let him go. Yeah? Let him go. Ma, <laughs> let him go. You see him laugh, though. Is that, Jerry. You, you couldn't care less or no? Jerry. Morning. Welcome. Yeah, man. Morning. We, we should not understand about combustion. Anyway, the, um, the, you have a number for Dr. Huggins? I don't know who name, sir. Dr. Hicklin. Oh, he clean. Mm -hmm. I think I need to get made to examine. You? Uh, yeah. Because, Jerry, I still I hear that there would be no new taxes this year. I don't know if I got mad or what. Uh, anyway, on another hand, I thought the Minister of Grand Announcement with Elusive Dream was Dr. Paul, was Mr. Paul Will. Mm. But like the Minister of Industry beat him. Yeah. Because, let's for example, Sir Jerry. I hear that this backside company towards St. Elizabeth will be providing 40 megawatts of electricity. And that BS is very, a, a project that will never come on stream will provide 40 megawatts of electricity. Why is there a no? Biggest, uh, how, I can call you back for the number. Um, no, I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Like how? It, it don't. It looks to you like this. Um, this political administration is going, going to provide the leadership for really. Um, lead the people of Jamaica. Um, change of attitude and behavior and and, success, and get success. It seems. It seems so to you. Really? No. Yes. Just say me yes or no. The answer is no. All right. So it seems like maybe the JLP can do it then. Might be worse. Okay. So therefore. If you follow hindsight... Hold well, on, uh, no, let me done, no. Let me done, because I just left the last minute for myself. Yeah, so if you... Um, so therefore, now, the, support, the, the population who, who know that none of them are not going to do it, supposed to be working out something else. We did a cultural revolution. No, I said the population that know that none of them are going to do it, need to be working out something else then. 
would be okay thank you yes have to go every year yeah man thank you very much yes sir we have some guests outside here. We're going to try to take two more phone calls before we call Santa. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Um, Dr. Small, very good news here. A student from, from man in high school. Jamaica student, top Caribbean in our culture. Our culture and science. You know, these are news that we need to, um, to talk about. The so students need to know young people. Is that young, young girl too? That girl. And a lot of our people tend to tell people to watch her. You don't want to print on um, to the ag culture. Do the ag culture. They want they want to go, go back to the lawyer and talk to them thing there. You know? We need to start put back our our youth but our youth know of the benefits of our culture. Um let you know, look young people, look at young children them, start plant things from early. Um, and, and see the joy and the pride that they have to see grow up and they can reap our fight. We need we because our culture is what wanna move this country out of so education with ag culture and technology. That, that is why you see the, um, the government raises the taxes. It's really a cigarette and thing. We don't complain about that. All because right, let him go, let him go. Next one. Good morning, yep. welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Morning, Good. morning. Good. Good. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, man? Fine, thank you. I called yesterday about the money where Silas is stolen. You know? Yeah, yes. And um, <coughs> somebody calling and talk about evidence and so on. Yeah. That thing that matter went to court already, you know, and the Wh family paid back 150 million US. Where, where, which court it went to? Some court in Ethiopia. It went to court in Ethiopia? Yeah, man. And the, the family pay back 150 million US? US. Wh public apology. Yes, yes. Which, which member of the family? I think it was his son. When son name? Our grandson or whatsoever. What grandson name? I don't remember. I was listening on BBC World News. Well, what year you listened to that? Uh, about four years ago, you know. About four years. That's about 2010. Yeah, so you can look it up on the internet also. Yeah. But what I want to call it different yeah. still, yeah. because I'm not really going to stop on a point. Yeah. But what I want to talk to you about the behavior of the Jamaican people, you know. Yeah. Because it seems to me that uh, I don't know what, something wrong with Jamaica. Yeah. Because I look at most of the incidents concerning the police and the citizens. All right? And although we expect that the police would conduct themselves in a particular manner, we also understand that law enforcement is most times a response to people's behavior, whether you break the law, whether you conform or not, and so on. And I look at something last night on the television, and you know if that gentleman simply went with the police officer. Who which was which gentleman? Which, sir, which gentleman? The one who was killing Lawrence Tavern. Who killed him? Police, sir. For what? Eh? For what? I am not sure because the camera didn't show that point. Oh, so you, so you are not sure that. what him kill him for, but how you know says the police kill him? Eh? How you know says the police kill him? Well, the police is not denied it. That I is ask you how you know that the police kill him? Because they're not denying it. Oh, so because the police didn't deny it, is them kill him? They, 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 what is the assumption? Okay, all right, and, and you don't have no idea where him kill him for? No, I didn't see that part on the camera. Oh, so but give I me an idea, give me an idea. What is your idea where him kill him? One thing I know though, I don't I, I see that I didn't see that part on the camera, but one thing I know. Yeah. There was some commotion and yeah. resisting of arrest and yeah. so on. And you say if him did go ahead him, what happened? Simple, simple. The, the, the situation would next call it. So is his fault then? Yeah? So is his fault? I wouldn't say it's his fault alone, you know. Because some people were around him boating him. Oh, so not the people in Lawrence the Tavern. Police, not to go with the police. The people in Lawrence Tavern yeah. and the man, they are the cause of the man dead. Yeah? If you want to put it that way. Okay, and that is the kind of regime that you support, and that's the kind of regime that you want to rule Jamaica I, for the next I 20 years. I support a regime where citizens conduct themselves properly. Yes. And in accordance to the Constitution. So that's what we can expect from your regime, more and more and more of that. Citizens have responsibility, you know. Yes, so that's what, we can, that's what we can expect. Themselves. Citizens do have responsibility. So that means, you know, you are a Wanga God replacement. Are you, are you worse than Wanga God? No, I am saying to you, citizens All right, let him go there, let him go, let him go, let him go. You, 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 learn, you learn more about him, though. This is the one that says he has a thief money. And this is what we can expect from him and his leader and his regime. It's very enlightening. Very enlightening. And it's beautiful. Not what's happening, now, but it is beautiful how, how things come out, you see? That's why I say I don't cut off, although they might say I cut off people, sometimes I allow them. Allow them and you get to know them better and you get to know what to expect. That's why I'm telling you now, say, from I observe the behavior of the PNP from my youth, my mind tell me long time, say, them, are them the overture of a tech. 
And them do have a choke attack, because them drunk more than anybody else. Let's go for a break, straight up. News Talk 93FM. Heard everywhere. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. And as I told you, we have our guest here in the studio. But, um, is him son always keep in contact with me now? Good morning, how are you doing, sir? Yes, man, Jerry, what are you doing? You always phone the program more time. Yeah, man, more time we touch base when you can. Because I, I know the I, things that... I think, um, I think it's when we were talking about free... It was when we were talking Peter about touch. free yeah, eye. When the... Free eye and, and um, Peter touch yeah, assassination. Man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. That's when you did start communicating. Yeah, man, communicate. Well, I was communicating before, before that. Before that, but, yeah. You know, on and off. Yeah, but man. When I heard that particular incident, I said to call and... I am me know say. To... Yeah, me know say your father. Yes, man. A Santa. How are you doing, sir? Yes, man. Everything blessed, man. Give thanks, man. You don't live in Jamaica right now. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> California, Jamaica, yeah. same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaica in the heart, same way, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ah. Uh, and then recently now, I think it was when they, they, it was being discussed about the tax rate. That's when it did. Yes, man. Um, I, I call. I, I was listening to the program one night and. I heard, um, I was listening to a preview of the program, and it's like, I never catch it from the start, but I heard when somebody came in and said that that rhythm you're talking about, which is the prophecy rhythm, you were saying that that rhythm is actually, um, that the person said that rhythm was actually done by Soul Syndicate. Originally. Originally. So, when me hear that now, I said, but for me, I you, me don't know how them things go, yeah. based upon the information of my old man, in yeah. part to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm call the because program. I had been saying that um, the, me first know it through liquor, I, right? Um, when ba Baga, you know Baga, I think yeah, Baga make me know you, Baga yeah, and man. Pablo and them and they yeah. did uh, match it to, to liquor, I rim. But but you come with some um, yeah, but yeah, more, ba more is, background. Yeah, a little, but the big man there now can give you the full. Yeah, story, man, you know, Santa. Or, or, yeah. Or, or, yeah, well, that. That that rhythm was done way back in the seventies, yeah. and the, the original producer, um, Black Marwell, he was the producer for the um, for the song, yeah. you know. And um, I think the first uh, the first artist was Likarai, actually. Yeah, you know. But I, I don't quite remember if it was in the, because you know back in them days, a man just make a rhythm, you know. Because Black was a man when go around and you know studio time available, man just record and then, yeah. And which studio him did um. You know, I think if, if, if I can recall, I think I think it was done at Dynamics, you know. Mm. You know, it was it wasn't Channel One. It was that it was Dynamics? So when um, him have the rhythm before him bring on Liquor Eye or Um, I know Liquor was the first one who sing on the rhythm. Yeah. So, so quite possibly, you know, I mean, I don't I don't quite remember if he was at the studio day. Mm. You know, but I mean, there's a big story behind that um, behind that record because. The day on the record that 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 um that song in particular, um, Black and Marvel, like, you know, <laughs> was a house like, you know what mm. I mean? So um, you know, we we inside of the studio record and you know, record a song and keep you know, we do some things and then him say, Make record another tune. And we in there work out the song and <laughs> Black and just move with the tape and <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know, put the, the engineer said, What I do? So we 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 rehearse the next song. Black a, I said, Black a guy a long time. By the you way, I mean? where did come and a port time come from? Uh, no, I think. Oh, true, one time that I think I didn't make a movie down that poor Portland named Marwell done it. You were about that movie there? No, but, 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 quite, but I mean, you know the man from Kingston, so we never really yeah, yeah. a man, you know, background as to where yeah, yeah. But him did live over in a trench town as to where they call jungle now, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You know? But it was a man where, at the time when the incident happened, you know, you feel like you get angry, but that man, when you see him, you have to laugh, guys. Mm. That was it. But uh, but as I say, pertaining to the rhythm, you know what I mean? Because, you know, people sometimes, them hear a song and them don't know exactly the origin of the thing, you know what I mean? Because mm. the years, them things that go on where the people them who actually created the thing never really get no credit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and, and uh, more of that is, is associated with liquor, right? Uh, between that and tribal war. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of music that other people do over after him originated. Yeah. But their their version become even more well known like George Nook's Tribal War, I think it 
probably met more well known than um liquor i want yeah, well, well, well you know that's how it is isn't it just depends on the timing Freddie right? mcgregor also right it's just a timing thing because i must say when we record the rhythm it, it you know the original bass line was there but with a different different drum pattern mm. you know slide on back home and modernize it you know mm. what i mean so you can't really you know cause some of you look on it you know people do that over the years you know yeah, yeah. You know, a, a song making a certain time period yeah it never really take off certain way but our next man come take it and do something with it mm. and it work you know what i mean yeah, we got even um one love mm -hmm. even though the impressions people get ready was very popular uh, one love become maybe more than 10 times as popular and and it was a kind of take off right and um people get ready right and people a lot of people don't if you don't tell them these things them don't know Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But as I say, you know, Sly Robbie and them man on my bridge, and them man, they have enough respect for them man, the input in the business. And the fact that him come and them take and modernize it, because at the time, when originally the, the song make, they don't really get a real good promotion. You yeah. know what I mean? Kind you know them things they used to go back in the, in the early yeah. 70s. It was more like a hustling thing, a man get a rhythm, and sometimes they, you know, yeah. and, and, potential. And, and, and you did play in a studio. Yeah, man. And yet, because, um, because Liquor I was a member of the 12 Tribe as well, when 12 Tribe started going on the music hard. Well, from the beginning, going on music, but when it really took off in the middle 70s, that music was most well known when Liquor I sing it on the 12 yes. Tribe stage show. Yes. So, you know, so people like um, Baga playing mm -hmm. the bass. Oh, yeah. And uh, Pablo playing the keyboard. And a youth named Malawi, I don't know if you know Malawi. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Well, Malawi has a drummer in about Generation Gap Band and 12 Tribe Band. And Freddie McGregor was a drummer in a Generation Gap before Malawi. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. So Freddie McGregor was a drummer right, right. in a Generation Gap Band. Right. It become more associated with them, oh, more than yeah. even, yeah. no say you originate. Yeah, them. well, the original BS man is, is fully full wood. Full, fully, yeah. Fully full wood, you know? And you know both times that you know when we talk to full more time we get frustrated over them things because we realize By the way, you know, early early burning spear, I would I would it play the drum and bass panel, door peep and them music. The first. I think I think I think it was RC. Yeah. Last month. Yeah. You know? But And the was, bass, the bass. Um I think But I like Joe Fraser, I think a bag of walker do. Yeah, right. you know what Joe Fraser? Right. I don't I, I don't pray. Yeah. But I think yeah. You mm -hmm. know. But you know, as I say Originally, you know, you see, a, you talk about Burning Spear now. There is, there is two songs of me play on a Burning Spear album. Mm. I never get credit for it. Oh, yeah. Marcus Yavi and Tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, and as I tell you, this is how these things go sometimes. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you, you know, people just get, you know, sidetracked. Yeah. Of, By the way, true, true, um, I forget what the music organization name, the equivalent of, um, Jam copy is, is who collect royalties for writers and um, authors. But they, 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 they on Connelly Avenue, where um, Golden, um, Stephen Golden, and um, mm -hmm. I know our next drummer was the president of the uh, Musician Association. I'm name again. Um, president. I don't quite forget, call forget them I, name, I, But anyway, them have this organization. I really know, know about oh, so you know about the organization from Connell Avenue that collect royalties? Yeah, I, I hear about it. But, but I, I them keep in contact with you? That, that, um, no, I don't really get... The cop, copyright organization who pay royalties to music. No, I don't, I don't really have any contact with them people. Eh. Mm. You know? Because it comes like motor when you're out of the, out of the circle sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> you kind of get forgotten. You know what I mean? Mm. So, I read of that. Back to the Peter Tosh thing now. Oh, you remember that um, that thing there with with um. You mean the whole incident? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it was. I mean, it was a tragic night. You know what I mean? Mm. It was a tragic night where you know, as I say, you know, Peter was a man where you know me, me, me have like maximum respect for and learn a lot from him. You know, and and that night it kind of like turned up, you know, it turned things around in a weird way. Because, as I say, the night of the incident, you know, I always check Peter every day, you know. Me and him have a connection, it's like, me down channel one or wherever, I'm just like, I'm going to check, check Peter. Mm. And from reach up them, so wait, uncle, I said, I'm a vibe if I'm on, you, you, you feel me, you hear me, you know what I mean? Eh? 
So that night in particular, I passed through. Because I was, I was heading to California the next day, I forgot to do a show. And Judy Mott was going to be on that show, and a couple of other people in California. And that night, I went up to um, Judy's house to, to get a cassette from her. Because she was going to be on the show, so you know she had some songs that we had to learn, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just went up there. And normally, you know, we check check sister Judy, you know, with a you know reason and thing for a few minutes. And, but that, that 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 night in particular, in, in that, that night she she was on a long distance car, so she couldn't you know we couldn't we couldn't reason. Mm -hmm. I said, alright, I go back down the road. So I head on down the road now and. Like me I pass Barbican, I'm I say, well, I'm gonna check Peter. Make him know so man, make a move yeah. tomorrow. The, you know, the Saturday, whatever. So me end up up at the house. But me never really go there for really stay. Mm -hmm. We just pass through, you know what I mean? And next to you know I reason in Are you alone in Navigo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well just me alone drive. Come is a man with a one away, you know. Mm -hmm. If I'm ever since me that man just move by myself, you know what I mean? But anyway, so I go up there just say, you know, say, yo, uncle, I, I'm going to kill you tomorrow, you know. And this is the reason it could be done at the time, a bridging named Doc. I mean, know from a long time. Doc was a man with him. The man used to make a whole of roots and all that thing, you know what I mean? And he was there. And um, the next dread, next dread lap name uh, Mikey. And, um, oh, Freya. and um, Peter and his wife, and girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. And... You know, we just sit in, yeah, and the paint that they did it too, and they upholster the man, and, but, the, but uh, it, it's like, him get up and him all give me the seat. I never really want to sit down, because I was standing up at the whole time, because I never, I must have never really come up for stay in a long time. I just come up for just heal up Reggie and then move. But him, him give me the seat, and say, yeah, we just go and sit in, come here, leave now. I say, all right, cool. Not the paint, huh? yeah, No, the, no, the upholster man. Oh. Me, the paint, huh, put him by his glory, I go on the street. And we come back up the upholstery man in the house. So he give me the seat and he say my leave. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of sitting for a little bit. So we did know and you know Peter Peter used to sit down at a position where he can he can either see the gate or hear anything I come, you know. So he hear a sound. And he said to Mike, he said, I check I say I would that day. And him go to you know, Mikey go to, go outside. That time he's sitting inside there drink some I drink some of these roots, you know, but it, but for some reason, the whole structure started getting warm, you know what I mean, eh? So I yeah, drink the roots and take them, we drink some water after that. And then Mr. Mikey walk home still, but the way him, the way him walk upstairs, is like, him have, him, have a, him have a weird look on him face. All right, hold it there, so. <laughs> when you take a break and you come, come tell me what yeah. the weird look was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. Santa, Davis is your last name? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. And you tell me now, say, um, Mikey, go downstairs, go check from Peter Gate and Peter mm -hmm. visitor is old Peter. But when him come back up from you, see him first. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, could see, say. Something, something all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, at the same time, I mean, three man just come in. Behind him? Yep. Yeah. And the three man mm -hmm. come in and say, yo, this, that's, this is a wall up or something like that. Yeah. But at first, I take it, take it for a joke, because you know more time, because we are grew up in the ghetto. So, they not, them not address Peter first, they just talk to everybody? Yeah, they just come in and just say, it's a wall up. This is a wall up. So, he just I figure, say, to me, it, it, it seemed like it was a joke, because normally, you know, choose a man who grew up in the ghetto more time, and we depend on all the like herb giant back in them time there. We, we used to have some man just come in, mm. pull all them, them gun and, and uh, spear with joke business, you know what I mean? Like, mm. yo, oh, no man no move, away, you know? Mm. And there was a joke to him, I said, yo, I might shoot somebody, where you know what I mean? Mm. Them kind of way there. So I figured, I said, what one of them things there? So when, so when I see a man lay down on the ground now, and I still, I still sit down on my chair and I watch what I go on. For me, at the moment, I think it was a joke. So I know them are the man who lay down? Yeah, man, them say, a man for going up on the ground. But me just sit down there now, and I watch what I go on. Because I was the very last person to lay down, you know, on the ground, you know? The thing is this, which part me sit down, my back was to uh, like a glass door and, the, and there was like a, um, a balcony thing outside or something. Them time there, me could have just jump over that and leave. But for some reason, me never even think that. Cause still, me still I think, say, I don't know real thing this. It, 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 it's like what they call it, a prank. 
Mm. You know what I mean? At the time. Even though you see Gunny, I say, no, you can't. It's like everything, you know, people say everything kind of like start going a slow motion. Then, you know, you hear people talk that all the way. I say, well, everything a slow motion, like you can't really believe it. It really happened. So, how long, how long before, how long before a free eye come in? Well, it was like maybe a few minutes and then him come downstairs. But before that, talking again. one. When after man, him lay down on the ground, them all talk. Yeah, it's like, you know, man, you know, the, the, by that time, them said to me, say, Yo, Jed, if you go up on the ground to you, know. So me, go down on the ground now, but I never really lay down flat. Mm. I kind of lay down on my hand, make a mess, you know what happened. If you lay down flat, and the thing start going, well, you know, I really have a chance to really move. Mm. So I kind of kneel down, like, that, I kind of step on my toe about them, you know. I'm, and that kind of have like a, a, like a, a foot on me then, you know what I mean? And then, Free I come out of the gate to my wife and them them was knocking. And for some reason them I said, Why is something suspicious? The cars must have wait. Them see Peter Carr and them see thing but them them not really hear getting a response. Mm. So at one time at one at one point them said them was going to leave. I think his wife said them them not get ready for leave and like free I said, come on. You know, and then I think them the break one of the men must have got upstairs at that point and bring them in. And free I come in. He was the last. Him and his wife was the last person to come in that place. So meanwhile, all this I go on Mali and not talk. Well, well, she did talk a whole of things, you know. You know what I mean? She had you know. In other words, you find that sometimes, um, in a certain situation, my my experience with man and gun and them things, right? Because I mean, I make out of iron and them things. And then I say a man come and him have him gun and them things. And I say I'm afraid of a man. But at the same time, you have to fear that the bullet will come out of that thing there. And all it have to do is that it can be an accident, it can be a deliberate thing. So you have to know how to deal with people. You know what I mean? And for a moment, you know, she be really kind of aggressive. I, I mean... But, but this, I don't understand, because she aggressive. alone attack? Or, or, or not your or the conversation about? Yeah, basically, because she, in other words, you have to look at it this way. To, to my recollection, she defend she defend her house and I defend her, her man. Yeah, but from the man, I'm putting her on the ground. I don't hear her tell me about no conversation or no. No. Them and Peter in there. Right. Hear, the, hear, hear the thing now. When I'm coming, so go down on the ground and then I start talking about money and like a man feels up. Um, the word chiss kind of say, talk about, talk about a safe. But man, I think the whole time we're using it was a, mm. a chest. Mm. Tre treasure chest. Treasure yeah. chest. So, so the man I say, you know, what, what? We used to have the money and the chest and the thing there. So the whole thing was directed to Peter as far as money. And the reason for that, we have to understand the thing can have a, have a lead up, you know. You remember when Peter, they have a problem with the record company, mm. right? And they they go back and forth to New York for dealing business. I don't know if you remember, during the course of that whole proceedings, it, 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 it was on a long distance call from New York to Barry G. I never, I, don't, I never forget that day. He might talk to Barry G on the phone from New York and he might tell Barry G and talk to Peter. They, they, they run the whole of Jamaica called Barry G program and he might say, yeah man, we sue them boys for billions and we, 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 and thing and you know what I mean? So Peter they go back and forth. New York, Jamaica, New York, Jamaica. So obviously maybe the man did feel like say, well, you know, probably in, 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 in my comeback with money and it's a Friday, you know. Man did it. But Peter did there Jamaica for about a, a whole week. So that I can just come back. Cause most people are talk. You know, people who don't know what I go on themselves. Yeah, man, Peter just come back from foreign. And, no, Peter did that Jamaica for a whole week. During that whole time there. So, so when, the, when the man inquire about where the money is on the chest, him, him, what response to him? No, Peter said, well, I don't have the money right now. Because he, he, he was supposed to, let me tell you something now. He was supposed to go at the bank. Because when I check him in, I said, boy, uncle, boy, who, boy, I don't have the money. I broke, you know. I don't like me to ask him for the money. But him say. It, like he might recall something he was supposed to do, do during the day. He never get for do it. He was supposed to go to the bank. Forget, forget some money when he was there at the bank or whatever. But he forget. So he said, why am I going to do that? Monday. So when the man come and ask about money, Peter never have no money. So them keep a quizzing about money and the cheese and all them things. So know. now, at what point them get aggressive now and, and um, are start... Either lick or kick or shoot, or them start for. Well, it's when them not get, it, it, when them not hear, when them need, need for hear, cause them, you know, Peter constant that them them not have the money. And so Marlene start target. Yeah, man, she, you know, she attack the whole time, cause she, you know, you can understand. She a different fear man and she a different thing. 
But there's a way how you deal with people. You understand? You have to understand it sometimes. You know. But the man they come with that intention, you know. They come with that intention, so what you gonna do, you know? So intention for get money or for kill. Well I mean I think both. Mm. You see what I say? Because I can't remember say one of the man wasn't known to them, you know. Right? Which is the one in the Aleppo, you know. He wasn't known to them. So obviously if 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 he more feel like the boy probably from rap people I'm going to go into my water, I'm going to go whatever. So, I'm not thinking they come for leave now. So, when, when you are leave, when you are leave, you alone leave? You mean... After the shooting? Yeah, me alone. But, all right, leading up to that now, them now nah get no response. So, the man them start, butt up Peter, viciously, you know what I mean? In the panic ground? Yeah. That means them have to kneel down then? Well, or, or bend down or whatever, you know what I mean? So... And when them have gone butt him, what do he couldn't do nothing because I remember so the man them have, no. have, have the upper hand so it's I mean I one of the most you know I never really talk about them thing before but I one of the most vicious thing and for see for see the man who it happened to it was really it was really tough because you know what I mean for no say this happened and you can't do nothing about it you know what I mean the three man there with gun and, and you see a bridging I get him face beat off and you say blow down skirt you know you know you can't do nothing so anyway it's like one night time a man I said, Why man chop off a man? And you know, I said, Wait, how about this? But there was a point now with me you now when me kind of like get this weird sensation of blood. You know, it, you know it's kind of it's like a weird sensation with me. Let me start smell blood. But even before it happened, like a weird sensation come over me. And all of a sudden there was a silence right before that. And it's like the next few seconds, all hell break loose. And with this, yeah, first I mean, thing is on. Just, just, just gunshot. Mm. Wait, wait, which direction you are looking at that one? Well, you turn by head. this time my head was down. My head was actually down, you know. And the man him start, the man him open up because of, of course they never get no good response as to the whole money thing. So, you know, it's like the man will start, you know, they said, you know what, might as well just kill some people then. And shots start fire. But by this now, it's like, me hear a shot, shot a lick around my head, but me I said, hold on. So after the whole thing, after the whole thing kind of die out a little bit, me I said, but me I get shot, you know? So, probably if me did stay still, that would have been it. Me wouldn't get shot. But then me kind of raise up my head a little bit now. And all of a sudden, I just feel the heat. The heat of muzzle from my head. And I shift my shit. Muzzle touch your head? Yeah, me feel the heat. I'm just kind of like... Shift me head like vi violently to the right. I'm gonna get shot on my left shoulder. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, and, point, and whoever do that, they move away from you. They move away from me, but for that moment now, you know, people say, You hey, play the little cowboy role. I'm just kind of say, All right, I'm not dead, but I have to go play this role. I know. So I'm kind of hold my breath for a little bit. I don't know me did that, but coming there, I did not think before I did that. I just automatically say, You know what, I have to just stay still. I'm just pray. I mean, the whole time I did that pray. Honestly, me I tell you, when I get the shot at the time, is that I kind of have a little smile. I kind of start to smile. Mm. But, but after the whole thing died, I don't know. Or you reach downstairs. Okay. Well, after the whole thing, after, after everything done, and the man them run off. And then I hear like a vehicle mover. At, at first, it did sound like a motorbike. I said, but three man can't ride on a motorbike. Now only find out later that it was a Volkswagen or whatever, the way it sounds. So me get up now and the first thing me said to the daughter, she said, she said, yeah, alright. I said, no, I'm get shot. I'm a walk. Which daughter? Marlene. Oh. I said to her, I said, no, I'm get shot. I'm a walk. Grown like a me, 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 no, me just kinda get confused. So I run back to fit them like them bedroom area and go in our bathroom, a little bathroom and I'm up inside it. I mean I said, well, I probably if them man I really decide to come check again to make sure then we have, we have to go at least yeah but i mean how you reach downstairs no me have come to that no no but it's your time me have to. oh yeah so me decide say yo i say right now i leave for the hospital you no know, car right now me, me, one lungs but what one lungs may i breathe pan mm. or one lung, can't park inside the, no, park the street so me just me just say what i'm going to hospital you know come and me go make it up mr here mm. so are the gate not closed or nothing no the gate did open so me mm. just go down jump on my vehicle and drive where you so, so who else moved them time then? Cause other people get Well, there. she tell me, say, no, no, she'll go, um, she'll, you know, get some people to come, you know, whatever, 
help them go to, go to, go to the hospital. I so no, I didn't know I go with you. Nobody couldn't go with me because I couldn't carry nobody. Because, you know, because I hear an argument like she said, well, she asked me for help and them things. And there was no, I couldn't help nobody. Because what kind of vehicle? I just have a Jeep. But physically, I couldn't really carry no one. Because when we reach, when we reach at the hospital, and them start to talk about, say, one, them hear that one of the patients drive themselves to the hospital. I'm going to tell the nurse, I'm me. She said, no, you couldn't drive yourself, come here. Not in the condition that you came in here in. So the rest of them reached by that time? Yeah, after in, that, oh, like, you know what, you know what? I don't know how them reached, but I think people in the neighborhood or whatever. And then them end up, them end up coming to the hospital and Mr. Peter come beside me and free her over the sun. It's like, you know, but that's a drama. All right, we, we're just about um, up to the 11 o'clock headline news. Are we, are we can, do we can stay a few more minutes? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, all right. All right, okay. let's go for it. Let me make land straight up. All right, play it. Welcome back. Straight up, listen to this. Ah, uh, you know, we have Santa in the studio here. Veteran drama. Let's hear it. Looks like just sun, it doesn't shine for me Because I'm living, yet I can't be free But well, we just go outside now, me and Santa and Santa's son, what's your name again, man? Anjo Yeah, me and Santa and Anjo And the sun now shine out there at all, just like what? No sun, no sun, apart from the fact that rain is drizzling out there A pure river tan smoke, and you know, so we're way up in the day you know, yeah, man, the wo- way up in the Whoop Valley area. But we just get like a touch of Santa starting that um, prophecy, the original recording with Little Roy that turned out to be one of the most or lasting um, rhythm and soundtrack in Jamaica. Even this user, I even use it as a, the uh, theme of my program. Santa, as he was telling you, and as his son has been telling us, and I'm glad him correct us when he was talking about it the other day. As him son has been telling us, you know, the origin of this um, rhythm, even before, even before um, I used to hear it being recorded by the 12 tribe band, and before the rhythm twins of um, Sly and Robbie adapted, and before Bujo and make it even more popular. Yes, um, just before we get back to Santa, I just want to send out some um, belated birthday greetings to a lady. So her birthday was yesterday. She used to be a part of the New Stock um, team here, and she's still still at the university. Odile Blake, yesterday was her birthday. Odile Blake, you might hear her. I'm almost sure she's the voice that um, them record when they repeat broadcast. When you hear this, the following program is a repeat broadcast. Yeah, that's Odile Blake. Blake. She's not um, with the station again, but um, yesterday was her birthday. Belated birthday greeting to Odile Blake. Blake, happy birthday greetings to Sharon Willis. Sharon Wills, and this is coming from Izzy and Anna and Keisha from Newstalk. And thanks for being our mother, friend, and our everything. And they love you. Sharon love you. No, I mean Sharon is the one with birthday. And Izzy, Anna, and Keisha from Newstalk. I love them, mother. Sharon Willis. Also, big up to some 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 um, straight up listeners. Kenneth James from Bridgeport, always tuned in. BVIS, meaning Border and Vital Infrastructure Security Branch. DSP Mark Allen and the team at North South Highway. Yeah, man. News talk, news talk and straight up listeners all. Yes, yes, Santa. Yeah, man. Um, just 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 a shout out, as we say. You know, Sly and Robin bridging them, and we can't tell them. We love the virgin with them, <laughs> with them come up with still. You know what I mean? And we do a great job, you know, with the rhythm. Yeah, you yeah, always have by, some by modernizing it too. Although they, are, yes, although have, they have been called the rhythm twins, they did have almost leave even more, even more a kind of twinning. One of the original, the original popular music rhythm twins in Jamaica, I would regard as Light and Light. They even have the same name, Light Brevet. Oh, yeah. And light nibs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you have a whole series of them. After that, you have Steely and Cleavy. Right. Yeah. That's after Sly. And, not after, but contemporary. Cla- yeah. Sly. But you know, 
Who is the base man that you mostly usually? Well, it was uh, uh, Soul Syndicate it was, a, was a whole group of people together. And yeah. It was me and Fully. Yeah. Fully, Fully, with me and him do a whole of classics. You know? yeah. We do a bunch of, I mean, I'm the great tune and talk about Stalag 17. Mm. That's Fully, Fully again. You know what I mean? Fade Away, the original version. Yeah, man. That, you, know, um, you know what I mean? So, you know, the, and, and the original version of Sunny Shining. Yeah. With Bob Marley. I mean, yeah. I'm fully again. Oh, yeah. The original one. To the rescue. You understand me, I say? So, you have to understand, say, you know, you say, the, 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 the twin thing, you know, the bass and Joe. Go way team, back. Go, it go way back, you know what I mean? So, you know, there's always, you know, but the thing is, is, is one thing I, I, I don't hear, I can't say I hope I, um, you know, we call it documentaries and all them things there. And I don't see them stress pan people, like, just like you said, like Bribbit and like Nibs. Yeah. You know, and the man, the, the man, the, the man, the we come, come, hear up the, the thing, and the, the man was our influence as far as my influence. Yeah. You know what I mean? As a youth, I grew up. And what I miss them, I do interview them, at a, I mean, documentary, them, them talk about other people, and them talk about them man who was the forefront mm. of the thing from them time. Well, they say plenty of them. I more time. Plenty of them do have a son like your own who follow the thing and um, somebody like him now, you have to rely upon him to help keep your history together. Yeah, yeah man, look, I put the thing, man, in perspective, man. I have to listen out because based upon what me know, mm. based upon what him impart to me, yeah. it's like when him not there, I have him back certain way when I hear certain things. I mean, uh, when I'm sure for myself that, you know, the record will have to set it straight. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I must say, sometimes I wonder who I do these documentaries. Because I look at them now, you know, them proper research to find out who was the people. Mm. Cause, because when a man asks me about any, the man about drumming and whatever, the first thing we do is, is, is tell them about the man. Them like, like as I say, you know, live names. You know, you have a British name, Hugh Malcolm. Them, yeah, man, you, yeah. Uh, you know, a uh, 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 Winston Grenham, and you know what I mean. Grano, yeah, yeah. Holy, I mean, you just name it. You know, there's a group of people who you, you know, have a Mexico British name, Tin Leg. We used to call him Tin Leg. You know, forgot 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 them real name, but you know, that group of people where they make this thing a work and. It's kind of weird when you hear the man about talk about some people. You know, I talk about people who, never, who wasn't really there mm. when the thing was being created. You see what I say? Yeah. I'm going to go to the tele telephone. We have to get te te some, some telephone calls. Maybe one and two of them even. No, maybe. I want to talk to you. Let's, let's, let's um, run the numbers. Please. We're, we're looking out especially for the young callers mm. and for the first time callers and for the ladies. Straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm going to read some text messages before we come to your phone call. Your first one. It's not everyone that seeks attention you must attend to. And this 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 um, reminder coming from why. Yes, my I thank you for reminding me that not everyone that seeks attention you must attend to immediately or publicly. Next one, holy childhood high dismiss school as well as Calabar due to smoke. I live in Harvard and I'm dying literally coming from Arla. Next one, Jerry. Tell Garnet I love his accent and the way he talks. And by the way, I am a woman. No funny business. Laugh out loud, yeah. I think um, some call been coming from our text from with is it Kim or some different people. Sometimes I'm not sure whether it's a if it's a if it's a Kimish or a Kimani. <laughs> but this this lady is a woman. Next one, you talk like a fool sometimes. The caller says the law needs to be enforced. What's wrong with that? You said the law don't need anything. Stop confusing callers. Now hear this now. The law need anything? Is who don't is we need for the law to be enforced? Yes, sir. Our human beings and citizens need it. Don't is them need it? The law not need nothing. No. The law is not even a living thing. No, exactly. And I am reminding people that many times that we need things, we are saying that other people need it. Like we need the police to clear the road down there. Here we know now. The police need to clear the road. Police don't need nothing more and collect and pay. And go beg a drink. It's we need the road to be cleared. And I'm right. pointing out to people. It's not a sin when them say that. I'm not trying to say it's a no, sin. No, no, no. But I'm pointing out to people that is we need things and is we must get the things done. Correct. Because the government no need for do nothing more and sit down with them there and people bow down to them. Mm. And when we need things that are about the government need to do it. Government no need nothing more than it. Anyway, I think I hope you can learn. I hope you can learn. And I'm not going to say you're right like a fool sometime, even though you say I talk like a fool sometime. Coming of X. Next one. Greetings. In the same way that we go to extreme to protect our tourists, we should do the same thing for our citizens, in particular our children, come from David and Kingston. Is that true? Next one. Good day, Mr. Small. All Jacksilla Irish town people, they smoke and mash up equipment. 
Contractor, them are smile in the meantime. One love to all. And two. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning and welcome. Hello. Go ahead, uh, hello. Go ahead please. Morning, Jerry. Yes, sir. Welcome. Good morning to your guest. There. Yes, sir. Santa. Yes, Bridget. Question. You, you said the, the discussion on the radio was between Peter and Barry G. Uh-huh. Um, from my memory, I think it was the said Free Eye, you know. Uh, Free Eye used to, Barry G did left GBC, and Free Eye did I do the two to six program them time they car in other int made of all the interview yes so where Peter said EMI owe him three hundred million pounds <laughs> and he must have changed twenty seven liar and four right months. right 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 and he must say oh you and all the liar them will talk one evening and agree upon a thing and the next morning when you hear them start to clear them short, um, you know, say somebody get to them and them get by out. Mm -hmm. I was free, I man. Well, I no, to, to my recollection, I think, I, I think, in the talk to Barry G, can I drive one at, the, one at a time, you know, drive me, I drive a year. So I don't know if I'm the talk to, to, um, to free I some other time, what I never hear that. But to my recollection, is in that talk to Barry G one day, from, from Barry G program. So it could be it could be both of them at different times. Yeah, it, because, because the deal me I drive a bar gym that talk to. Wasn't free eye. Well, I think I think the deal in question where me I talk for. Yeah. I don't remember if it was the said Friday evening that was the meeting or the Friday evening after. But I write within the same time because Peter did just forward and I say, Yeah my do you even want to give Rasta three pounds, let alone for go give Rasta three pounds? Oh, well, hear this now. Ah, uh, well, listen, that match I show you a different thing I talk about because the time when Peter did talk, I knew I came to call from. I knew I came to call from. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. And then afterward, when him reached now, him probably I talked to an annex man. Yeah, man. I was him there. Him there talk to before to before him come before him come to Jamaica. And then was in New York talking yeah. to. Barry and then George. those things also led to the discussions there. Uh, let us get a license to open a radio station. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Jerry, because them time they know Radio West, which did eventually turn IRA FM. Yeah, North West. For divestment. Radio North East or RL. Radio West. West, it was West, yeah? Yeah. And then now, he man. So Radio West, um, yeah, okay. I turn IRA. Yeah, yeah. And then now, he man, Chris Stanley and Free Eye. Them did them did all to get a whole of that now. All right, we have to go, go to a couple of the phone calls, but yeah. thank you very much, yeah? Yeah, give me. Morning, you. welcome. Straight up, quiet, please. Brother Jerry, morning. Welcome, welcome. Uh, maximum respect to Santa and his son. Yeah, yeah bless you, man. Santa, Big I don't know if you can remember, the youth of a sonic so with the name Busy. Okay, yeah, man. We drive a taxi with, we have Sly, Robbie, Dean, all the way, we have the taxi driver. Yeah, but, man, yeah, I mean, I, I man. I must say to you, I know everything, because I remember this particular song. Yes. Well, that is an original. Yes. I went Sly Rabbi, I lick it, and it's a phrase, so I'm a listening here, I record Eddie Harris, him listening here, you know? Okay. Bada, da, bada, bada, bada. So, they say, yeah, man, I lick it, and meet a taxi, but a lot of people at times don't know the truth. Okay. And I'm come and, you know, say all kind of things on the radio, but I respect that because I know when mother play first, that your shirt come off first. Ah, true, man. But what may I say? You see, when we are talking, it's not, it's not anything for discredit the man them where do a good job. Because honestly, my feet say, Sly Rabbit them as professional and some man them may have high respect for. You know, them, them did a great job. So, when I, and I talk about them things, when I talk about for discredit and take away from anything. You know what I mean? I and I but, know that. But it's just... Outside, you know? Yeah, man, but... Sometimes just go by the high gospel and do the truth. Right. And I always say the truth to set me free. Yes, So, yes. I say that. Like, Sly and I just not too long to about half one when Jerry said my interview, you know. Right. And I tell the buyer to listen to Santa, you know, because a long while I see him and him seem that California. Right. But I remember most of us buck up like Ziggy and Garrett, them in the California here, you know? Yeah, man, yeah, but man. But respect you, sir, and one love. Yeah, man, blessed love and brother. All right, thank you very much, sir. Busy Campbell. Good morning, welcome, straight up. Hello, welcome. Good morning and welcome to straight up. Go ahead, please, next one. There. Um, good morning. Santa? Yes, sister. Um, listening to the great, uh, your story, Peter had 
address like the United Nations. Peter was having, speaking certain way about the um, exploitation of the African continent by the white man. Okay. Was it, could it have been a case, you see? And um, Peter did address the black American and said, it's time you must get down, you must get up. Okay. Radical, very radical, very forthright. Could it have also been a case that, you know, this, this, this situation was planned to eliminate him? Yeah, you know, something, sometimes the conspiracy thing, them, I don't know. I mean, you know, the thing is this. Um, it can, it kind of hard to authenticate that. Because the man, the man in question who come commit the crime was a man who had just come from prison. And they met the rounds that check different, different people. So as far as them other things that were the United Nations and them thing, I mean, sometimes, you know, them thing that were, would have to be authenticated by some top investigators because you have, them have ways of finding out these things but I couldn't really well I couldn't really I don't, I don't want your press hard to add because that lady is a novelist you know so okay. maybe, she, maybe she'll flesh out that thing thank you very much next one good morning and welcome to straight up hello yes well, sir yes sir yeah man can I know him at all about man with me they were in the interview for Peter you know uh, I and I when they come from Babylon work that evening they pan up you know I went there listen to the interview. Like Gilbert Gilbert when the the year before. No, this the same year. No, the year before. Yeah, no, yeah. it they it, 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 Gilbert it, Link, man, it you know? No, no, no. It no Gilbert was the year after after, after Peter died was Gilbert, sir. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Man, Peter passed away eighty seven September, September the eleventh. Like when Gil when, when Gilbert when they come they were the top of the Peter anniversary. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah man, but I, I call man. I see him Friday when the parade of the evening, man, you know? Yeah oh, man. Okay, so thank I you. That. Yes, sir. Yeah man, thank you very much, yeah. I highly, highly. Next one. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up Hello. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Jerry. Good. Well I tell you, you make my day every day. Are you? Yes, you do. Anyway, Jerry, what I want to tell you is, I, one of my neighbors was not well at all, and I took my neighbor to the hospital emergency room at Mandeville. Yeah. Mandeville Regional Hospital. Yeah. And they had no stretcher. Oh, yeah? No stretcher, Jerry, I think, for an emergency room. How long room. ago? How long ago? Monday. Oh, yeah? Yes. I, and, you know, the, the hospital... They need what, some help. What they mean, what they, what they telling you, that all of the stretchers were occupied or elsewhere? They didn't say. Just that they had no stretchers. Who said that to you? That to hold on, hold on. The patient and is an elderly gentleman. Yes, ma'am. Who? in the chair for almost half a day. Yeah. And they said they were going to borrow a stretcher from so, Hall Green. Who, who told you that? It was a, a porter. The porter, yes. Said, um, so the, when, when you, where did you see the porter? Well, um... He came outside, but actually the person who told us about that, I have to ask the wife, because well, the wife I, no. So, so it, it wasn't you who saw that and, and were told that, though? No. I, oh. I took him when they got him out, and they came with a chair, and I said, no, he needs a stretcher. Right. The, the, the chair is an ordinary chair or a wheelchair? One of the wheelchairs. Oh. Uh -huh. But it wasn't comfortable at all. Yeah. Uh, and, and he had really, um, this, you know, he was not... Right, you know, he needed to be stretched out. Stretched out, yeah. Falling back, I asked him to go get a pillow to put his head on. He just looked at me, because I guess they had no pillow inside. Yeah. And he put his hand so the patient could rest the head, his head on his hand. And the wife went inside with him. Yeah. And then she told me later in the afternoon that they were sending to houses to borrow a stretcher. Yeah. And it seems they're needing all strips for their glucometers. Glauco yeah. They had no strips for glucometer. You know, the hospital will need to do something. Uh, every day, all over, we hear these um, reports of um, people, patients and members of family having to bring equipment, bed clothes, oh, yes. and bandage have... and all them, that kind of different thing. Yes, but something like stretcher yeah. and the things to use in their machine. I don't know how the EKG machine is going, but they never all seem to have one, you know, in the different areas. Yes. It, it, you know... And you have to be careful because if you get irritated and aggressive about these things, sometimes um, retaliatory behavior is, you know, you get um, ignored or that kind of thing. But thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. I know, of Jerry, I'm a nurse, so I used to the system, so I don't get oh. irritated or anything. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a retired person. Yes, ma'am. Another thing, Jerry, what I'm... I'm Quickly, ma'am. 
because uh, they want um, the tellers, you know, they want us, the banks need us to go like paper. Yeah. So what is going to happen to the tellers? Are they going to be losing their jobs? That's exactly what it is about. It is about cutting down the numbers of um, staff and payments of the staff. Exactly yeah. that. Thank yeah. you very much, here, ma'am. Pardon? Thank you very much. You are, you are exactly right. I believe so. Thank you. All right, Derek. Have a yes. good day and a nice weekend. Thank you very much, yeah. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Hello. Hello. Good morning, Jerry. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? And good morning to Santa and his very vigilant son. Yeah, give thanks. Yeah, give man. Thanks. Thank Listen, you. Listen, Jerry, I'm going to say something. Yeah. Um, there was a time in Jamaica when we had seeding of the clouds. Yeah. And we also had daylight saving time mm. instituted. Yeah. And... This is 2015. I'm sure there are people who will argue and say nothing like that ever happened. Yeah. Am I right? I think so, yes. Right. So the point I'm trying to make is um, in the era when Santa did his work, I, I don't think he was very vigilant and they knew anything much about securing their whatever they... Copyright and royalties and things. Right. Just like how you make a copy of every single program which you do. Yeah. I don't think they had that. So when people forget to mention, sometimes maybe it's deliberate or usually they don't know. Because a lot of people now who have just come out of university don't know a lot of things which happened in Jamaica. Yeah. So I'm saying maybe in, in the documentaries when they don't call certain people's names, yeah. maybe they don't remember. So many people have died, so many people... Sometimes you can't even remember the names. You know them by a nickname. Yeah. So we should, youngsters now, and everyone else, you know, should take care of their intellectual property and try to find out how to secure it so that you can be paid for it and your legacy will be there for those who come after you. Yeah, but can I say something? Yes, um, go ahead. Like, like in the U.S., you know, you have people who document these things. You, know, you have people who... You know, they, they, they keep a documentation and stuff from way back when. So, you know, when they, uh, if you're talking about a certain genre of music, them can go as far back as the beginning and bring these people to the fore. You see, in Jamaica, you never really have no one doing those things. You know what I mean? And then, as, and, well, and then as far as, as far as you say, well, you know, me not knowing. Yeah, it's true, because since I, since I, you know, start living in America, I start understand about publishing and all them things. I never know say, mm -hmm. them things that really exist. See, all you used to hear about was performing royalties and all them things. I never realized, say, you know, there was more, you know, more thing to it. You know what yeah, I mean? Sure. There was so much more. So, you're right. I, I was totally ignorant to certain realities of the business. You know what I mean? I remember they weren't really rushing to teach you either. Mm -hmm. Because the people who control it want to control everything. Yes. And I'm saying, it is so sad. I, me I remember um, even the JBC TV, when they used to have a ring day, when they did Miss Lou's um, recordings of Miss Lou's shows. Yeah. Do you know that they scrubbed and, and recorded over them? Yeah, a lot of them. At the mm. end of the day, when that lady was in Canada and would have needed to have those things because they have monetary value. What wasn't thrown out was scrubbed and things recorded over them. Yes. So even the people in media who yeah. should know didn't pay attention to those things. Yes, thank you very much, dear. All and, right. And not only that, a lot of, because some of them were scrubbed, some people used that as a face card and said that some others were scrubbed. Meanwhile, they were selling it and they're still being sold and resold on the international true, market. True, true. I have no doubt. Thank you, very, thank you very much, dear. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes. Hello. Big up. I'm good, Jerry. I used to see a program every day, you know. I have a favorite program Th that I listen to daily. Thank you very and much. I call and the program to big up um, Santa Davis. They were selling bluebells. We, sing a, we play lots of music from Channel One Records Studio. All right, boss. Respect. Yes, sir. Big up Santa Davis. Bluebells. 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 All right. Remember Ebony Eyes um, come along with uh, Scott Perry, music all that goes. Uh, lots of songs that you, you play on in Channel 1 for me. All right, give thanks. Respect, Reggie. Yes, all yes, right, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yes, one good, Jerry. Big. Yeah, the next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, Mr. Swan. Welcome, sir. How are you? I'm not too bad. First time caller, everyday listener. Nice. I am just calling to 
you love Santa and his son. Yeah, blessed love. Yeah. And big up, big up. ask Santa one question. Santa, do you up now? Where are the free eye and the thing with Peter Touch is concerned? I, I want to ask a question. There is an argument going around that somebody was in prison and they never do with them for the where family member is concerned and that's why our virgin get killed. Mm -hmm. But I noticed when you talk this morning about the whole incident at the house. You mentioned nothing about the man who asked you both, or you know, do nothing to me, pick me the man, whatever. So, all right, you are. You, all right, you are. I, I don't want Santa to be interrupted. So, we're going to go for a break, and when him come, come back, I'm going to respond to how him never um, talk about the, 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 the demands that were being made and the neglect of procure while man was in prison. Okay, yeah. sir? All right. Hold well, on, we're going to come back after the break. Yes, Santa. Um, the call I want um, want to want you to explain the different gaps in um, in the way that you were retelling the story. All right, check this out now. Jamaica, Jamaica, as we know, have a perfect reputation for concoct stories. See? me and Peter Tosh were that close bridging. You know, that man used to reveal things to me where me know him not telling enough people. See? and if that was the case, Peter, that tell me. And the whole time when we used to sit up that bridge in that particular youth, come up at the house, I never hear no mention of any man of the... That, that, that was something where people, you know, kind of Jamaica, that place that people love to uh, build up stories and then one man says something and then all of a sudden it becomes a storyline all over the place. And the thing is, is if that was if that was, if that was a case, then Peter, that tell me, no, there was no such thing. The man never got in a prison time for no Peter. That's what people say. Just like how me hear some people, me stand up and hear man. Me hear some policeman attack, but boy, the reason why Peter touch get shot, you know, because when the man them come in and start karate, the man them, you know, I'm stand up there and hear the man them attack. I'm going to say, wait, karate. I mean, me, 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 I make them go and talk. And when them done talk, I say, yo, you know something, they didn't have the house. I say, hey, I say, yeah, man. Me, the dead. Peter, the man. So the thing is, that's how people stay. People love to set things in order to make for them things believable. And if that was a case, me that didn't know that. Because Peter showed me enough personal things about, him, about himself. You understand? I mean, I'm going to like say, me know everything. But that in itself, Peter that made me know. So them things there are just some bull crap, man. Now, there was nothing like that. The man, the man never did no prison time for no Peter. Well, no, um, as I was saying earlier, and, and a lady did call in, I was suggesting some other scenario. And as you say, you never want, uh, you don't like the conspiracy theory. And I, uh, I myself sometimes have to be weary of being drawn into. I don't, not only by, not only by other people drawn in, but sometimes you wouldn't mind one part of your mind True. because we have more than one mind in our, in our structure. Yeah. And one part of your mind will try to draw the other part into, uh, believability. Yeah, quite so. And you end up as a novelist. At all one point, the man in the world say, the Jamaican government and certain party have, have things to do with it. Mm. And you see, man, you have to be careful when you start making them kind of accusation there because then, then you, you infuriate people who, you know, you yeah. say, boy, boy, you say the government, yeah. you know, the man, the computer, yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah, it's quite yeah. another, it's quite another story. Yeah. When we know the facts behind Bob Marley being shot. Right. Because of political intrigue. Right. And that kind of thing. As, as a lot of facts are known there. Not right. all the facts. But it's a far cry from, from the Peter Todd story. But thank you, bro. Let's go to the next call. But before the next call, I'm going to read some text messages. Well, the first one says, Smoke or kill me. NSWME I can't find the money to fight the fires, but then can't find it to fix the problem. Madness. As a taxpayer, I give them permission to waste my money to permanently fix the problem. Permanently, yeah. True. Next one. Why Fox don't like police? That um, this person is talking about the caller who named Mr. Fox. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Well, Mr. Fox, um, I don't think him dislike all police, but he had a very unfortunate experience, and he still experiences it. That's the thing about these things, you know. When you experience certain things that come like you, you, you continue experiencing them for the rest of your life. His son, his son was murdered by the police, and then now the murder never just take place immediately. His son was shot by the police, then taken away in a police car and driven up and down, even though his son was reputed to be aggressive. It seemed as if he was murdered by the police and driven up and down. 
and many more things. Next one, Jamaica is, a, is at the perfect stage where most of the economic fundamentals are spot on. In other words, this person is saying that the government and the um, drivers of the economy are doing everything good. Jerry, you and your friends, please don't try to derail this. I want my children to have a chance. So you are saying that um, is the government going to give your children a chance and not you going to give your children a chance and you are saying that I and my friends are in a position to derail it. That's what you are saying. I don't think you understand economics as much as you understand writing. But um, you also, you could be a novelist. I think you could... You could make a good novelist, you know, or screenplay, you mm. know what I mean? <laughs> Fiction. Yeah, true, man. Next one. Did they find out what or who started the fire on the Riverton dump? dump? I don't know if they, I don't know who the they is. Some people know, and other people have experience, and um, might have a strong suspicion. Next one. Morning, Jerry. Do you think they are taxing us to pay international debts and not to facilitate growth in the country? Country, I'm Chantal. Yeah, the the um, taxes about these international debts and to keep certain things in line with the with the economic um, models that um, their that their um, boss their so their boss um, dictate. Next one, morning, Jerry. I'm a help up in Jack's Hill, and the smoke is terrible up here. I know Portia see it because she is nearby. Next one, Mr. Small. The caller don't need this head examined. The Minister of Finance did say. There will be no new tax in the budget this year. In the budget this year. Mike from Waltham. I'll go back to the phone. Good morning. Welcome back to, 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 to Straight Up. Hello. Greetings. Yes, sir. Welcome. Hi, brother. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Uh, big up Santa and son. Bless up. Bless up, brother. Yeah, big up. But Not from the family of, of the class at all. Not sure. Mm -mm, no, no class on there. <laughs> no, no class on there. So I just, just rough there, you know? Yes, yes. Give, give thanks, man. No lion claw on there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, man, give thanks, man, and big up the Adam said, Yeah, man, yeah. No, someone called about um, copyright and um, certain things not being mentioned, you know? But I just want to say, in the early musicians, it took them about 25 years before they found out about their rights being copyrighted, you know? True. Sure. So it was not a known factor among musicians, especially the early musicians, because most of them was being paid by the producers most of the time. And certain things were held from them willingly. Now, you can't compare that to someone who is doing a particular research. Because if you're going to do research, you know, you know that a lot of the original things lies amongst the grassroots people. So therefore now, you have to go to the source to get your information. Or else, you did not do a proper research. And Mark, you know, I'm not going to say you're always going to be a hundred percent. But at least, if you really need to get the right information, you don't, it's not a partial research. You have to do a full research. All right, give Santa a chance there. Eh? Yes, Santa. Go ahead. So your question, your question, um, what is it that you're really referring no, to? No, someone this? was saying that just as, because you didn't know about certain copyright thing within that time, the persons who were doing the research, you mentioned that certain persons weren't being contacted within the origination of certain things. Right. All right, give my chance then. Yes. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is this, you know, a lot of people knew certain things, you know, but the, the thing is, we were kind of like kept in the dark, you know. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And as I said, because we never have people documenting stuff and, and you know, you, you know, musician, just think about music, you know what I mean? And, oh. and, 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 and never even think that there was a business side to the thing because I hope a musician never really see it as a business, you know. I realize that there is all these other little things, you know, that is connected to it. To, to, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to say one yeah, thing. But I'm going to say one thing. But I forgot to the next call. You hear me now? You remember Carlos Malcolm? Yeah. Carlos Malcolm is about 80, 182 now. And last year he came here and he gave, um, he gave, a, gave a few of us a talk down at the, the Institute of Jamaica. And he revealed how much, how much input he had. 
when they were making the first Doctor No movie, the first James Bond movie, and how he, he developed most of the music, a lot of the music for that movie, and it was completely copied down to the score, right. the orchestration, everything, and the recording, and the producer and them, and the, them, 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 um, them meet to them somewhere out of Port Royal and I reason them, and I point out certain things, and I say, yes, 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 okay, we're going straight now that. Next few days, we're straight now that. And the man leaves straight from the hotel and go up on the plane and fly out with Carlos Malcolm music, and he never recover most of those ideas for the early James Bond music. And he is now a PhD and a well-established person as well as still playing music in America. So you see, it, we, we, we pay our dues. But thank you very much, Butter. Yeah, man, give thanks. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Morning, welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. And there's a famous documentary about those early producers of the James Bond movie, you know. Mm. The producers and the directors and the writers and how some big one of them can one another. Some big time is a big, oh, big... Oh, I No, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Yes, welcome. First time caller. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm a concerned citizen from Red Ground, Negril, yeah. in West Moland. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what the Noise Amendment Act is like, but there is a small local country church that is in the area, and they call police about the noise, 1030. And police came three times for the one night. And then when we have war in the area, gunmen shooting, when you call the officers, they are not here. And they come to tell us that we, they could take away our equipment in the church. They could give us salmon. Yesterday, 12.30 in the day, we had fasting service. And police come to close down the fasting service in the day, the afternoon. Yeah. So uh, what we are saying, we wanted to know what is this all about. That even in the day you can have fasting service. Yes. The church full of so much young people. Keep them off the street. Yeah, yeah. All right, as you say, um, when you're calling, a lot of the police stations, when you're calling them to come and attend to a crime situation or the threat of crime, right. they're not responding, but um, they come to harass you, church people. Yes, and that, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, please. Hello, hold on a minute, please. I know that that must be very aggravating for you, and especially like when the church is keeping the peace. But as you yes. know also, as you know also, a lot of the noise that is associated with joyfulness, because when people are joyful, especially unto the Lord, sometimes they make a joyful noise. Yes, but at sir. the same time, they should um, also consider other people feeling because, you know, a lot of the time that people make a noise, they make it to show the other people that I am in the Lord and you are not in the Lord. Don't you know that, ma'am? There are lot of people. That is those who do it themselves. All right. So, so, yeah, so I sympathize with you. Yes. But as you know, responsibility go in every direction, just like how the clock around and them with it. But I really sympathize with you. But don't give up here, ma'am. No, we can't give you up. You can't turn down the sound liquor still. No, it's not. It's if you, when I ask the police, did you hear it when you're coming in? They said no. Never hear it. I said, what kind of noise then are it making? Oh. They're just looking at me. Yes, yes, yes. All right, but anyway, you know, keep together and stay together and, um, and, and keep vigilant. And the commissioner of police says that he's encouraging citizens to record and videotape all police action that is taking place. And no police must stop you from recording and videotaping them and citizens, whether them locking up somebody or whether they doing this or that or that. But take care of you, man. Don't, must okay. call again, you, know. you must call again here, man. Okay, sir. I will. Thank you very much. Let's go for a break, straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. We're going into the last, what, 11 minutes of the program. Welcome your phone call, your text messages, and we have Santa here. But we're going to read some text messages before we take your phone call and you talk to Santa. Next one. Jerry, are you suggesting that an overthrow of the PNP government is being planned? Your utterance implies terror. Is that so? Well, I'm saying this, that up to now, from the time when I'm abolished slavery, 
the African people in Jamaica have not been compensated and the governments refuse to put the people on the land and them dealing it out to them friend them and taking photo opportunity like it's them giving people house and giving people land and many other worthless things like that going on and it will be overthrown one day and you cannot resist it neither the army the police nor the politician can resist it it's a worldwide thing it is the next stage of civilization a worldwide thing and it cannot be stopped can't be stopped next one big up jerry big up dudus big, jerry big up dudus um president coke and his oh jerry big up dudus president coke and his 45th earth strong coming from Poe or Arrow. Yeah. next one jerry who was anyone charged for peter touch debt coming from sharon i don't think so He's, I think I think one man I think the, one of one of the man Same that Dennis Dennis yeah Laban. Dennis Lebon yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Dennis Lebon next one Jerry the last interview with Peter Tosh was with Barry G and the next one Mr Small you need all the callers not only the new young and females coming from Mike and Walter now you got that right and I will say again we're going to repeat the numbers especially for the new callers and the young callers and for the female you got that right now but get this one right too we're going to repeat the numbers i mean i mean i mean i mean i vex you now only i tell you something we especially welcome the young callers and the new callers first time callers and the female them but you got that right you get 50 out of 50 and then now but out of the 100 now well you get 50 out of 50 <laughs> Not 50 out of 100, you know. But okay. no offense. Thank you very much. Yeah. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Greetings, Robin. Hi, how are you doing? Short and sweet here. You know nah. we do it. Yes, ma'am. Greetings to your guest, father and son. Yeah. yeah Bless big up, like sister. That. I yeah, like man. it. It's yeah. real. Yeah. Jerry, somebody write about terror. Yes, yes. And write about the real. Yes. There's a train coming. <laughs> yes. Yes. Prepare ourselves. There's a train coming, and, and it has nothing to do with JLP or PNJ. Yes. 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 People just can't take no more. Yes. yes. And there's a train coming. Yes. So, who's afraid? I don't know. Yeah. Run where you can. I don't know. But I then, a matter of fact, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But. And the last, the last clip, yeah. Mr. with Portia. Mm -hmm. She's saying, when I'm asked her things, she says she can't explain, but she say the daylight is down the road. And if oh. you and you must um, take time go around the corner. I think she mixing up the tunnel and the light at the end of the tunnel. But oh. she, the way she put it is that the daylight is down the road and, the, and you must look see if you see it and take yeah. time go around the corner because the daylight is around the corner. I think I don't know if I the river and smoke or she had to about her. <laughs> Maybe she inhaled too much of that. I don't know. I went on my car. No, Jerry. You know, Lord God, there are so many things happening from going out of my mother's belly. Yeah. Later. Thank you very much, here, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Well, go on. And heal to your guests who are on board. Mm -hmm. Bless right. up. Big right. up. Big up. Brother Jerry. Mm -hmm. I gather that there was anxious moment at the Bridgeport High School this morning. Yeah, it was. Smoke. That numbers of students have to be rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital and to mm -hmm. private doctors yeah. for treatment due to this predicament that keep happening after 50 years of independence yeah yeah i got a brother jerry that over here in saint elizabeth a uh, number of police have to be on the scene of an area called park because residents have launched a demonstration yeah against a situation in which they are saying that they were the community was given a piece of land yeah and a man show up all of a sudden flashing and dashing papers they have to him land yeah so let's put them start out that situation. Yeah. Finally, Jerry, I gather that authorities in St. Anne's Bay, in the parish of St. Anne, yeah. are concerned that too many horses are roaming the streets between St. Anne's Bay to Mammy Bay and have created a oh. number of accidents yes, you have in a, recent times. You have some people who hire out the horses to ride yes. on the beach and... Um, through some river and thing and sometimes them up and down on the road yes anyway brother Jerry if anybody asks you how you come by this information 
Yeah. Don't say it over me. Say you got it from the horse's mouth. From the horse's donkey. No. Nah. <laughs> from the horse's arm. Um. And not a jackass. Mm. From the horse's the hindquarters. Don't let the pleasures, leisures, or treasures of the weekend, Brother Jerry, get you distracted with self-preservation. Return here next week in one piece. Yeah, man. All your horses. Indeed. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next yes. one. Morning, Jerry. Oh, go on. Yeah, man. I want to hear the um, your, your guest to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maximum. All right. Yeah, boy. I'm there. I'm here. I'm going to go on. I'm going to have a mom here. I'm going to have a Sunday. I'm not really know what I'm going to go on. So, I want you to give me a little bit. Um, one, Riverton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the dump, um, you have a big fire down at the dump as usual. It covers the whole city and part of St. Catherine and going further. And it's not going, them, 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 them smoke going to stay in the year for days and days and days. Why, Jerry, me hear the people, them, me hear the people, them hurt, you know, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, and me even feel it too. Because, well, we are one, now, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, be, yeah, you know, we are breathe the same atmosphere. True, true, true. Now, true, me there, we don't get some my business, so cause you feel what I feel. Yeah. Um, the next thing, I ask Jerry, sometimes, me don't know, you know, me don't know, me don't know, food, food question, me ask her, but you tell me. Sometimes, me have to wonder why these people, them call themselves leader. Yeah. If them really, um, have a little feeling of how people them feel more time I work. Me not know. If they don't feel nothing at all, Jerry, me not know. Me not ask you what you think, me not know. Yeah, more time, more time some of them will feel it, but um, they have their comfort to so kind of, them have them comfort to so console them, you know? Yeah. Them have them comfort to so console them, and then you have a lot of people around them telling them, so don't listen to nobody else, just go and keep on doing what you're doing, you know? And, yeah. uh, you know? Well, uh, that's why we, right now, we know, you know, Jelly, we have to continue to do what we are doing, you know, because we realize, me, you see all the while, you see these people, you can't really um, think about them people and talk about them even too much, because you have to them more better, we talk about everything and go and talk with the brethren around about positive things and if we have anything to yeah, and, and, you know? And, and if any, if any, um, we, if and when any positive changes to go on, any community in the world, anywhere in the world, in the whole world, it is the people them who study themselves and adjust themselves for the changes yeah. Yeah. from early. It's them people who will, um, will go through without um, the changes upset them, you know? Yeah, but thank yeah. you very much. We, we, we late night day, but thank you very much for this call. Yes, sir. All right. Let's have a serve, Jerry. Monday again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jerry Willen. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Street Up, you know? Good yeah. morning, Jerry. Welcome. Yeah, man, you get them is uh, still on, on the yeah, 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 side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, look at Dr. to ask the better was there with Peter Touch. I heard something long ago. You hear, Bridget? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, man. And I don't know if it's true. I heard that the Peter Touch did find himself in a harbor one night time. And the guy, they take the, um, take the prisoner for him when he come out. He's supposed to get some money for him. His family is supposed to get some money and then I get it. And then go for it and uh, be a fierce to chat him again. Did, did, did anything like that happen in your present? Rumors. Eh? Rumors. Okay, spell it out to me then. Huh? Rumors. Because what I, you I say, your eyes when you yeah. really guide him to come in. Yeah, at no time, at no time, because I said, I'm going to check Peter like on a daily basis more time. So I said, I work, I did work for him. So I said, so yeah. at no time when me see that bridge in there I ever hear anything like that. You understand me? Oh, I say, yeah. and even and even um Peter touched lady when the devil it saying she yeah. as, as everyone knows she's a woman and, where she no hold her tongue. And that that okay. would have come out. So if if, if there was a talk if, 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 I mean if it really happened I mean I know then I know. But as me I say, you know, th there was nothing to that fact boss. Okay, I, just, okay. I, just, I just rumors, I'm not saying that Jamaica love build up things and come to them wonderful opinion and conclusions and because you know what I'm saying, so. never, never, not yeah. like that. I, I heard that one of the guy who was there, it was Peter Fred, the one where did um, come and ask him, did I ask him about money and the woman, and the woman caused the, caused the eruption here. No, it wasn't Peter Fred. Hold on there, hold on there. It wasn't Peter Hold on there, you say it's a, it's a woman caused the eruption there, you know. That means you know. 
Yeah, yes, but um, so the brother who was there now was just telling you, but I don't think it really removed that out of your head. Okay, all right. All yeah, right. you there see, many, there are many, many things behind the scenes. Yeah, Bridging, Bridging, yeah, Bridging, yo, Bridging. Yeah, yeah. You cannot yeah. listen. You cannot listen to people who wasn't there. Cause all of the sure people who sure. attack, them never did it. Them never have no Peter for them to attack. Okay. Yeah, right. I take your word, you know. You told me said there was nothing like that. So I rob, I rob the man and come for a bit. No, you still, you still each another gear. There. Well, and there, your, your, your gearbox was overall. No, no. I'm if I rob the man and come to come rob the place. Look here, call tomorrow. No, call, here we go. Call, no, call tomorrow, you know. Yeah. Don't call tomorrow. Right. Call Monday. But I want to thank you. I want to thank Santa. Yeah, man. Bless you. And me, Andrew. Not true. Yes, my boss. Yeah. And I want to thank my producer, Tanya Richards. Production assistant, Shadie Walton. And all the while, you know, write down your hand's name. Your hand's last name is Stuart, not you. You see me, I learned by heart. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Straight up. Good afternoon. It's time for the midday news here on News Talk 93 FM. I'm Errol Lee. Coming up in this newscast, opposition surprised by a level of proposed new taxes taxes. Schools affected by the Riverton smoke advised to remain closed. Government calls for heavy duty equipment to help put out the Riverton city fire and cure JPS case going to the Privy Council. <laughs>